Nodi out that fast? There's no fucking way. Are you guys from the Discord or is that the fucking Nodi team? If that's people from notification, I've been live for 40 fucking seconds. Like, I've never had a notification go out that fast. Jerry DeBerry for the 3,400 fucking bits. This is a W song? It is. It is a W song. And thank you for the 3,400 fucking bits, dude. Holy shit. We were all waiting. No shot. No one. Oh my god. Y'all were all waiting? Damn. That might have been Discord Nodi. It might have been Discord because Discord comes out quick. That was the actual Nodi that just went out. Now, but Jerry, thank you for the 3,400 bits. I knew Nodi wouldn't go out that fast. That was fucking insane. Watch Mark Rober's new video. Dude. Dude. <laughs> A dude. A dude. Uh, hello, everybody flooding in. How is everybody doing on this fine goddamn Sunday? You said to add, Mar somebody asked, said to add Mark Rover's new video. Uh, we are going to react to that one day. I'll see if we have time. Uh, I don't know if we're going to today, but I did add it to my watch later. I will actually do it, it uh, for just in case we do have time. I think we might. Uh, but hello, everybody. How's everybody doing on this fine goddamn Sunday? It is a react day today. Big dubs in the chat for that. Beans for the sub. Uh, Six Hobo for the sub. Not Joey for the sub. Godly for the 1,500 fucking bits. Jerry for the 300 bits. I am a beta male on God. Why are you saying that? Also, thank you for the fucking bits. Um, big reactions today. As promised. As promised. Uh, I've kind of made an agreement. Agreement? An agreement? That's not a thing. I've made an agreement with my chat. That every time a new Mr. Beast video comes out, I will watch it with my chat. A Mr. Beast video came out yesterday, so we're not starting. We're actually going to start with this video. Because it's a two-minute fucking video, and it's just this little funny clip that I want to watch. Uh, then we're going to watch the Mr. Beast video. Um, and then we're going to go into Murderer, One Punch, Killer, Sniper, and Gangster on How It Feels to Kill. Good Teen, Kills Neighbor, Stealing Mail. This is an off-brand Darman video, Samir. I Infiltrated Shrek Fest. Uh, how Dementia Villages Work. Three Disturbing True Dog Horror Stories. We might actually put that on the end because it's a scary video. Uh, and beating five scam arcade games with science by Mark Rober. Jake! Oh my god, Jake. Oh my god, Jake, bro. What the fuck? Happy Rosh Hashanah for all the Jewish folks in chat. It's Rosh Hashanah? Today? That's tomorrow. Is it today, too? Rosh Hashanah's tomorrow. But big dubs for the 10,000. Am I wrong? I'm, I'm Googling it. When is Rosh Hashanah? Oh, it, it starts September 25th and ends September 27th. Happy Rosh Hashanah for all the Jewish people in chat. Uh, and thank you, Jake, for the 10,000 fucking bits. Monkey for the sub. Nate for the 300 bits. Uh, this costs 200 beans in my currency. Hope you're having a good Sunday. How's the Barbarian movie? Oh my god! I Chat, do you guys want to hear how the Barbarian movie went? Oh my god, I completely fucking forgot I saw that last night. Bravery for the five gifteds. It was awful. It was, it was so bad. It was so bad. It, I, I, like, I'm not going to spoil the movie. It was so bad. Two Inch was right. That movie sucked dick. That movie was, dude, it was so fucking good. It, like, first off, first off, it's a lie. On Google, it says the movie's an hour and, like, 48 minutes. Barbarian is, like, an hour and 10 minutes. It was, like, the shortest horror movie I have ever seen in my entire life. Secondly, okay, if you don't know what Barbarian is, we watched the trailer for it. I for fucking completely forgot about this. Oh my god, Jake, again, for the 10,000 bits, kind of got off track here. Flynn for the sub, Glitch for the five fucking gifteds. Or was that 10 gifteds? Oh my god, Glitch for the 10 gifted subs. Glitch Legacy for the 10 gifted subs, Bravery for the five gifted subs, Super Hot for the five gifted subs. <gasps> Tway Tools for the sub, Jake for the 10,000 fucking bits and the 300 bits. It starts, but it starts tonight. Okay, Purple for the 300 bits. 
Watched Barbarian last night, watching it again. It was one of the suggested on the trailer stream. Yeah. You watched it last night and you're going to see it again in theaters? What the fuck? My calyx are sticking up at the back of my head. Nate for the 300 bets. It was terrible. Hard stuck for the sub. Ease out for the 300 bets. Uh, yeah, everybody's asking how the movie was. Uh, reverb for the 760 bets. Uh, even better that you're live. Big dubs. Coffee for the sub. Frosty and Bean 6 Hobo for the sub. Nate for the sub, or Nat for the sub, Dereal for the sub, and Bryant, or Bright, Bryant, I don't know how to say that, for the Thridge Bits, missed a lot of your streams, sorry, wish me good luck going through a lot right now, I'm sorry you're going through a lot, but I'm, I I hope I can help, uh, I hope you can tune into the streams and I somewhat bring up the mood, if anything, bravery for another five gifted subs, why are there so many subs today, this was the trailer, uh, bravery, thank you for the five gifted, everybody for the gifted, and Jake for the bets, holy shit, funny buns for the Thridge Bits, are you gonna react to a Sneeko reacting to you? Do you guys want me to react to Sneeko reacting to me? I, I, I maybe. If, if I do, my mods are going to have to send me the clip segment where he does. Uh, because I don't know where it is. It's only like a 10 minute thing and he doesn't really even counter any of the points I said. I was in his stream typing to him when he was like shitting on me. <laughs> and he said I was like double backing. And then, uh, he did catch me in one point. Because I said I didn't compare him to Andrew Tate. But I did. Uh, but it was in the first 10 seconds of the video, and it wasn't the main point of the video, which was my point, but he kind of ignored that, but eh, it's whatever. Isa! Oh my god, and I did the pain gauntlet yesterday! Maybe you could also slip in Dude! a reaction at the end of the stream? No, I'm not doing a track... Oh my god, Tr bro, no way track kid Henry's back here, bro. I'm not doing another track fucking reaction. Ease up for the 11,000 fucking well, bits! Everyone is donating, so I felt like Y'all wanna see the welts on my back? And the ink machine. It's not- they're not that bad right now. That's the- They're on my upper back, I can't like- I won't be able to stick around because I work from 12 to 8.30, but I'll stick my night. head in Hold from up. time to time. Let me show you guys a picture from last night. Cause there- uh, most of them have gone away, actually. Hey Joe, I am in 8th grade and have taken my first ever real exam to get into a HS tomorrow. Wish me luck. Look at that. Look at that one right there. That one hurt the most. That was like a welt, dude. I only got shot like six times. I bitched out like a pussy. I literally bitched out like a pussy. You're going to see in the video. I start screaming. I'm going, oh, oh. I God start fucking running you, away. Brother. Dude, it was so ass. It was so ass. The pain gauntlet was terrible. The dog collar was the worst. The dog collar, it got so bad, I, like, couldn't talk right. Two inch for the three. What did I say, bro? The movie was shit. Yeah, literally. Stupid for the three bets. Beef for the three bets. Master for the three bets. Taking my first ever real exam to get into high school tomorrow. To get into high school, you don't need to t Unless it's a private school, how are you taking an entrance exam in high school? Simply for the three bets. I work from 12 to 8.30, but I'll stick in... I'll stick my head in from time to time. Big dubs. All right. This was the trailer for the movie. Does If, if you don't remember it, it, the trailer is basically two people overbooked at an Airbnb. Um, and then, like, shit hits the fan, and it gets all creepy horror shit, right? The trailer was fucking amazing of this movie. Okay, Barbarian's trailer was uh the best trailer that we watched out of... I don't know, maybe three hours of watching trailers with my chat. Jungle for the five gifted subs. Big dub for that, too. You missed my bits. Kylan, I got... Uh, uh, sorry, there was a lot of subs and shit, and I'm trying to talk about this. I spent $50 on G Fuel yesterday. Hope it was worth it. I'm poor now. Well, did you use code Joe B? Exclamation point G Fuel, code Joe B. 10% off. So you actually saved about five bucks from me. <laughs> You're welcome. Anyways, um... No, the trailer was great, and if if you if you watched the trailer right here, it gets like it gets like scary, and um, like right after this point where the trailer cuts off, the movie. Actually, got can I spoil the movie? I don't want to spoil the movie. No, I'm not going to spoil the movie. I'm not. I, I, why did I ask? If I, 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 nah, I, I, I want to spoil the movie for people that aren't going to even watch it. Can I spoil it? All right. If you're, if you're going to watch the movie, 
turn down your headset for like 10 seconds, okay? Um, so I'm going to spoil the movie, and it's going to be like a 30, it's not a new Marvel movie, right? It's a fucking shitty, scary, it's a shitty, scary movie, okay? Turn down your headset for 30 seconds, okay? Right after this scene, right here in the movie, uh, a scary seven foot tall naked woman uh, that is slightly deformed and has really saggy boobs smashes the guy's head in. Uh, she becomes the main horror figure of the show. And basically the plot is that a dude from the 1920s like raped a lot of women and had like a bunch of incestual kids with them. And eventually it became into that monster. And now that monster... It's like it all at once is to baby people. And so if you are nice to it and you let it like baby you and you like suck on its boobs, then it won't kill you. But if you don't, it'll smash your head in. That's a whole movie. <laughs> that, that's a whole movie. That's a whole movie. It's the entire movie. I... And, and, and the trailer doesn't even mention that. And now that's why it was a good trailer because it didn't really reveal a lot. But right when they kill this guy, the movie just goes, the movie just hits the sh shits, the bed, shits, the bed. What they could have done to make the movie better was instead of having that dumbass fucking weird monster thing, all they had to do was like have some sort of like dark spirits like, remaining in the house from all the bad things that happen there, and they control the house, and you, you have to get through the house to, like, get out of it. Like, that would have been so cool. But instead, they have this weird fucking, like, seven-foot naked monster that, like, kills people. It, like, it, it, it was so dumb. Like it, it, like, it literally wasn't scary. Like, it literally, it was so scary up until that point when they shine the flashlight on her, and it's just this, and she's going, and she fucking just smashes his head in. It's so bad. It was such a bad movie. It was such a bad movie. As somebody who normally doesn't like horror movies, I enjoyed it. Okay, I can see that. It was it was it was entertaining, but it wasn't a good horror movie. It it looked like they were trying to have a good horror movie and then that was it. And there's a point in the movie where right when they kill that guy, it cuts to like a whole new character. And I was like, oh my God, that's so lit. They just spent 35 minutes building a story for a movie that isn't happening. And then I thought that the new scene was going to be the actual horror movie. You know, you know what I mean? Like they spend the first 30 minutes explaining this horror movie and it just ends terribly. And then they just start a completely new horror movie that has nothing to do with the trailer in any way whatsoever. That would have been so cool. But they didn't do that. Instead, they kept with that dumbass fucking plot. Like, that's how bad it was, because I actually thought that they were just joking. Cooey for the thridge bits. All right, now you can... Uh, well, the people that turn their audio off, now they can't turn it back up, because they have no idea when I'm done explaining. We're done explaining! If you're muted me, I'm not... I'm not spoiling it. The m Turn the audio back up. If I'm muted, turn me back up. Skycore for the Thridge Bits. Do you think Midsummer is a good horror movie? I've never seen it. Kooey for the Thridge Bits. Turn my birthday off on Snap and nobody said happy birthday, just like you said. Exactly. I'm sorry that if people didn't say that to you, but uh, happy happy late birthday. It's Mitt for the Thridge Bits. Uh, I thought I was going to miss your stream. My toes curled in fear. Why? Happy for the 3,000 bits. Why, Joe, you just spoiled it for me. I literally said I was going to spoil the movie and to turn down your mic if you don't want to fucking hear the spoiler. Super hot. I would never do that for a Marvel movie, but a dumb, scary movie, like, most people aren't going to see it in theaters. Super hot for the Thridge Bets. Words of inspiration. When one door of happiness closes, another opens. So don't take too long. T t don't take too long at the closed door. You will miss one that has been opened. Big facts. Wig for the sub. Austin for the sub. W advice. Ease after the Thridge Bets. It froze for me. What did you say about the about Bendy and the ink machine? Oh, I didn't even read that. I don't even know what game that is, bro. To be honest. Tway tools for the Five Thridge Bets. Haven't been to stream a bunch. Been grinding a lot in college. Well, welcome. Jungle, again, for the five gifted subs. All right, let's get into it. First video. Uh, this is a little extended clip from a TikTok that I saw. I just thought it was fucking insane. You know, as the host of Easton Bowhunting TV, 
I've had the opportunity, but it was an exciting ride all the way through. I'm reminded of the time I was on a brown bear hunt in Alaska and we got charged by a huge sow. Talk about a pucker factor? Well, that was one. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Sometimes we'll have. Imagine that thing fucking rushing you. I am. I'm, I, I don't know if I would have been able to fire... Like, they didn't actually shoot the bear, by the way. They shot a warning shot and it scared it. But, like, imagine you're just looking at these cute little bear cubs. And factor. then out of nowhere, a 600-pound brown bear just fucking bum rushes you. Well, that was one. Let's go. Let's get out of here. What would it have done? Did you see... That shit was determined. Determined. That motherfucker would have literally bit the shit out of him. They didn't shoot it, though. Had that bear continued to charge, or had that shot in front of it not stopped that bear, well, I may not be here right now talking about 10 years of Eastern bow hunting. I hope they didn't shoot the bear. Do you think they shot the bear? I don't think they did. And then they're laughing about it. All right, now let's get into the, the fucking Mr. Beast video. Bears are so cute. Yeah, they'd also kill you. Wolf Sniper for the sub. Uh, Scarcore for the three bets. Oh, I already read that. All right, the Mr. Beast video, as promised. We got to start off with it. Surviving 100 days, or survive 100 days in circle, win $500,000. I laid a giant circle in the middle of nowhere. And this is a random subscriber. And if he stays in this circle for 100 days, I'll give him $500,000. Step inside the circle and the 100 day counter will start. The timer is ticking. He has to survive in this circle for 100 days. There's nothing here. There's nothing yet. Crap! I'm about to drop off a house. This definitely gives me more confidence. I bet you didn't know you could lift a house. I'm, I'm perfectly fine in this scenario. If you give me a house, I'll just chill for 100 days, bro. And then zero training. Wait, which one's the gas again? Somebody just said about the bear, if den dangerous, why friend-shaped? Like, bro. <sighs> I feel like no one cares and I want to end it all. I have a date planned, so you'll probably never see me again. I want to say you make me laugh a lot. I'm going to kill myself October 2nd. No one will remember me. Dude, go find help. There is no point. Please, please, please listen to me. Even if life seems meaningless right now, it is temporary, okay? You might have a lot of problems going on. There's fucking spit on my, on my camera. Even if there's a lot of problems going on in your life right now, it will get better. Suicide is a fucking complete fix, a t permanent fix for a temporary problem. Go to a psychiatrist, go to your parents, go to a teacher, go to someone and get help, okay? Please. Just, just not reaching out to anybody, not trying to get help, and just, just, just committing suicide. It's not the answer. Committing suicide is never the answer. Okay, go get help, please. I'm sorry you're going through shit right now, but it is temporary. It will not last forever. Wolf sniper for the, uh, for the sub. Love for the three hundred bets. Which finger do you think has the most important finger? Your thumbs. The fuck. If you're talking about four fingers, then your pointer, or middle. Jungle for the 600 bits. Should I order chilies? You're going to DoorDash chilies. Out of every out of every restaurant you could DoorDash. You're going to DoorDash chilies. No. Uh but back to that kid, bro. Yeah, no. Suicide is not the answer, literally. Um yeah, please please seek help. I that that's basically all I can say. I can't do anything. I don't know who you are. Uh, and I'm not a registered psychiatrist, but I like my my answer or my advice to you is seek help. Back to this though, I'm not fucking I'm not fucking leaving the circle. If you give me a house, I'm fine, right? Like if I'm just sitting in the circle and it's this bare grass circle, yeah, I'm gonna be a bit pressed. But if I got a fucking toilet and a bed, I'm fine. You know what? Actually, I might be a bit bored, but for half a million dollars, 
Uh, yeah, I'll be fine 100 days. As long as I don't starve to death. And inside this house is all the food, clothes, and supplies he needs to survive 100 days. Oh, no. This could have been a lot worse. Oh, my God. And this is Sean's family. I wanted to let you guys get one final goodbye in before he started the challenge. Aww. No pain, no gain, Dad. And you guys will be here when I walk out of that circle with a half million dollars. You guys will be here when I walk out of that circle with half a million dollars. <laughs> and then I'm filing for divorce. I'm leaving the kids. And I'm moving to Aruba. <laughs> And then I'm leaving all of you because I'll be rich and you won't be because Mr. Beast gives me the $500, $500,000 post-tax. Okay, post-tax. That means I keep half a milli, all right? Any other game show, I'm walking around, you know, maybe 300K, 200, 280K. I'm walking out with half a million. I'm fucking dipping on y'all. Bye. I'm going to miss you guys. Aww. I'm going to cry a little okay. bit. The video just started and it's already emotional. Good luck. $500,000 is on the line. To be honest, it's a little emotional, but uh, 300,000 calories, 100 days. I've got a plan. Get the food organized, clothing figured out, figure out a way to keep my mind entertained. Oh, he doesn't get more food. You know, if I walk out of that circle, I will regret it forever. One night down, 99 to go. They should have made it worse by not giving him a, a like, large amount of, like, diverse food. They should have just given him, like, 900 cans of beefaroni. Get organized. All right, strategy session. He only has beefaroni. Also, video sponsored by Chef Boyardee. And then that would pay for the video. And he has to struggle by only eating beefaroni for 100 days. That would be amazing. Number one. I got Jungle for the 600 bits. And Jasmine for the sub. Figure out what I got, how Sorry much I got, and what I'm going to do to organize it. This is all the food you're getting for the next 100 days. So if you eat all this in the first, let's say... Why did you give him so many fucking olives? Do to organize it. This is all the food you're getting for the next 100 days. So <laughs> how many fucking olives does someone need? <laughs> I'm not... What the fuck? I'm never... I don't eat olives at all. Let alone, like... Seven cans of it. So if you eat all this in the first, let's say, 50 days, you're done. Yeah, it looked like a lot more food until I started convincing it down. Sean. <laughs> Hello. We have over a dozen cameras monitoring his every move 24-7. If he steps on that red line, we will see it. What do you think the hardest part of this challenge will be? Wait. Cameras 24-7 monitoring him? Is there a camera in the bathroom? I feel like that's uh, not... I feel like there's definitely not a camera in the bathroom. Definitely not a camera in the bathroom. Also, that is kind of creepy. Or the bedroom. What if he's changing? Does he have to change in the bathroom? Sir Muck for the sub. Macy for the sub. EZAP for the thridge bets. For the guy talking about suicide, call 1-800-273-8255. It's suicide prevention hotline. Literally. Uh, I don't know if they're still in the stream. I, don't, I didn't even look at their username. I was just looking at the message. Uh, but yeah, seek help. Solo failure. No one beats me. I didn't get outplayed. He's still talking to us, and we're outside the trailer. Being in my own head. Hey, Sean, I think they walked away. God, I hate them. Because Chris dropped my house so perfectly, my shower doesn't drain. Huge shout out, Chris. Really appreciate 100 days of dealing with this. It's cloudy, so I think it's a perfect day to get outside and try to plant some vegetables. Oh, I gotta pay attention where I'm walking, because if I walk across that, game over. That red line is death. If I touch it, it's over. So I'm going to take Imagine the... he fucking trips. Imagine like day 98, bro, trips on the tarp and falls over. Bro, nah, Jimmy would cut that shit out. Jimmy would cut that shit out. Wood out back and create kind of like a secondary line. All right, now I got my beautiful circle. Sean. Come in. How's it going, man? Doing good. Wait a minute. Is this a Cheerio? This is all you get for 100 days. You're wasting a Cheerio. Right, wow, it is really stale. I'm shocked at how fast Sean is developing a routine. It is officially day 10. Sorry, Did he fall up. asleep like that? How fast Sean is developing a routine. What the fuck? It is officially day 10. Sorry, I'm dressed like this. I just came away from Chocolate Factory. Sean is nowhere. When would this get hard? What day would this get unenjoyable? And does he have his phone? That's my question, right? Because if he has technology, 
no fucking problem in this challenge, right? I'm going to be watching a fucking Markiplier Let's Play for like 45 fucking hours, right? I'm, I'm set, right? I'm fucking set. But like, if I have no technology and all I have is the circle and the house, it's going to be pretty fucking rough. To be seen on these cameras. Sean, are you pooping? What? what? Day 50 would be the worst because you have to do another 50 days. That is true. The halfway point would be kind of sad. Okay, he didn't run away. Yeah. Bro, how are you doing? 100 hey, days is what? Like three and a half months? Who took for the sub? Baku Ho for the sub. All right. Wait, so you're tracking your weight. I'm weighing in every seven days. So you're trying to just be jacked by the end? Yeah, so I mean, at the end of it, I'll be ripped and $500,000 richer. Your wife's going to love me. You see? She ain't going to be my wife after this, Jimmy. <laughs> he looks directly into the camera. I plan on leaving her right after this challenge is over. You seem to be doing really well. I'll see you in a month. A month? I think he's kidding, but he's probably not. I'm going to try to build a garden today. I'm going to try to replant it away from that crazy red line. One of the things I plan on doing, the money is to put my farm 100% on solar power. My farm will be like a giant Tesla. That's the dream. That's what we're trying to do at the homestead. Can't wait to get out and get Cringe. Cringe. Bit cringe. Maybe blow the 500K on a fucking Lambo. Not have enough money to pay the insurance and then lose all the money. Money. And For the first month, it'd be pretty cool, though. I'm gonna go on a nice vacation for a while, I think. Whoa, Jimmy just- <laughs> Nice vacation for a while. Nice vacation for a while, eh? Really? Away from your family? For how long? Forever? <laughs> just told me there's a tornado watch. Are you gonna leave the circle uh, for the severe weather? I'm like, I'm from Oklahoma. Whoa! There's no way that tarp yep, is worth- that tarp's- that tarp's gone forever. A half million dollars. Oh, yeah. Wait, is it the money just going to get fucking rained on? Here it comes. My poor money's blowing away. <laughs> that's okay. fake. Do you think that's real money? No way he just put that shit in a cage. My poor money's blowing away. <laughs> okay, I'm going inside. I have water peeing from the ceiling. But my toilet won't flush because I'm guessing the tank out there is full of water from the rain leaking into it. You guys see that gentleman behind us? He's been in that circle for 16 days. Oh my God, the house starts flooding with poop. <laughs> the house starts flooding with fucking shit. That's longer than you went without eating, bald guy. You didn't have to break up that video. Have you seen your second floor yet? No, I've been trying to get up there. It's a bit steep. Hey, Jimmy, you're bald. Yeah, I'm just going to stay out of it. I feel like if I stay in here, they will bother each other and not me. Since the boys are being rude, I'm going to leave them trapped. We want out! I will bring the ladder back if you just apologize. <laughs> you run us out! <laughs> Tyler for the sub. I'm John for the 300 bits. I love Carl, but that was cringe as fuck. He made a fucking, he made a Minecraft noise. I'm betting all my money on black and letting it ride. No, yeah, no, don't do that. Don't bet all your life savings on black. That's probably not going to go well. Track for the 300 bits. It's crazy that this took so long that Jimmy was also in the middle of filming 30 days without eating. Yeah, he, while this video was filming, he filmed 30 days without eating and his uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory video while this was going on. Last time Mr. Be Beast did this type of video, a marriage was created, but now a marriage will be ended, literally. I think we're ready to get out. I want an apology. I'm sorry you're bald. <laughs> I'm sorry I called you bald. Was it that hard? Yes. Oh, isn't he actually bald? I forgot they shaved his head. It hurt. So the boys made the quite the mess in my house yesterday. My yard is now covered in glass. Very frustrating. I'm worried this challenge might be getting to Sean. Would you come into my house and screw with stuff? I don't think so. Oh, this thing just smacked me in the nuts. I would just get so bored. What would you guys do? I'm assuming he can't have his phone. If you want me to be real, I'm assuming there has to be some ruling where he can't have his phone because he hasn't been seen with his phone. I'd like, what the fuck would you do? Literally get yoked? Yeah, that's like, it's just like some prison workout type shit. You have nothing to do but work out. How you doing, Chandler? 
scared. I would be too. We installed that Ferris wheel in two hours. <laughs> Johnny, the celebrate you being 25% done. We brought you a carnival so you can enjoy. Dude, 25% on percent on your month in. Wait, when do you think he started this? In like June? If he started this shit in June, he wouldn't be done until September. That would be all summer. Like the entire imagine. Chat! To put it in perspective, the second you get Dunn's class, like, and it's your summer break, you go into this house and you don't leave until summer's over. Are you doing that? I feel like that's, that changes the answer to a no. Because 100 days doesn't seem that bad, but in the perspective of it being longer than summer, that's fucked. Well, for 500 grand, yeah. For 500k, yeah. But I'm saying, like, most people probably wouldn't last. This is awesome. He can go outside, but he's alone. I feel like doing this when you're his age, it's better, because, like, he's old. Or he's not old, but he's, like, a dad. If you did this when you're in, like, when you're, like, 18, 19, that would suck. Because then you just, like, miss an entire year of hanging out with anyone. Nothing but net. Oh, no. Bruh. Do you think Mr. Beast will ever get to the point of doing a 365-day challenge? Like, do you ever think he would make a video, like, five years down the line of, like, having somebody live alone for a year? I feel like that would cause, like, insanity, and he would have to have some, like, legality thing with that. So, I don't know. Nox for the sub. HND for the sub. Because having somebody alone for that period of time is, like, really bad. But, I mean, he is interacting with them slightly. Oh, first throw! There we go! Oh. This mini game isn't very fun. Oh my gosh, I'm so terrified of heights. You're 25 days in, do you still think you're gonna make it the full 100? I can't see why not. This competition's a huge sacrifice. I only get so many summers with my kids, right before they're- It gone. is summer! Bro, so the kids summer, they just don't have their dad for three months. Longer than that. Running out of the house, so that's tough. That was every summer for me. That was every summer. That was every summer at the barn house. <laughs> so I was organizing all my clothes, and as I was going through it, I started finding little notes from my daughter. Well, not always. Sometimes I would go see my dad, but you know, same thing. Divorced family. I have four kids and a wife, and this will be the most alone I've been in 18 years. Rationing food, survival is going to be rough. But if anything, there's no walk shot he runs out of food. Do you guys think he runs out of food? That's like 40 fucking loaves of bread. Out of here, it's gonna be the loneliness. I just don't wanna think about it. Oh, that was Gordon Ramsay. He ain't nothing on me. Because I only gave him 300,000 calories of food, Sean really had to think about how he rationed. 300,000 calories of food is 3,000 calories of food a day, right? That's enough food. Yeah. Oh, it's 300. Wait. No, it's 300, yeah, it's 3,000 calories a day. That's, like, enough. That's, like, more than enough. Which led to some pretty interesting choices. So this may be my first bad one. It's just a bunch of leftovers for oil for safety. It's disgusting! Very cabbagey. There's a camera above me. I'm not sleeping naked during their Saturday challenge. Jimmy, just know I did that for you. Just to spare you from my nakedness. Oh, butt-ass naked just sprawls out right in front of the camera. Jimmy just checks on it randomly. <gasps> this morning I heard, hey, Sean, there's a spider in your bed. My bed is now flipped over. I'm leaving the circle. This is my last day. You know you've been here a long time when living in- That's where you call it quits. A month in, there's a spider in the bed. <laughs> you just leave the circle immediately. Inside of a circle in a Mr. Beast video seems normal. Day 39, it's Father's Day. I kept waking up thinking I was home. Really missing my family. This is gonna be a tough day. And what Sean didn't know is that I brought his family to the circle to surprise him for Father's Day. Sean, I have a present for you. Oh yeah? Happy Daddy. Father's Day! Daddy. Almost makes me feel bad for trapping him in here. They didn't really consult with me, they just brought a present. And Don't you worry, Jimmy. He's gonna leave his family after this challenge. And I'm not about to tell this little girl she can't give her dad a present, so I caved and, and here you go. Oh, okay. I have oh this my gift. god. Not only okay. did they give you a gift, but they also get to spend the next 24 hours with you. No way. 
You guys are gonna be so bored. <laughs> are those my drawings on the fridge? Yeah, those are your drawings what on the this? fridge. No way! You get to spend 24 hours with me? So this is the shithole. Uh, Jimmy's bathroom actually doesn't work, so I, you know, I squat over this hole that I dug and poop in it. Feel free to use it if you need to. <laughs> nice. I didn't think he would keep these. This is the refrigerator. Tonight we're gonna be having cabbage and olives for dinner. Yeah. Oh, it's the wife. Ah. This is the corner where I sit and cry. <laughs> this is the corner where I sit and cry, cry myself to sleep. And then this is the happy corner where I plot what I'm going to do with all the money and I'm going to leave you guys and never see you guys again. Oh, it's the wife. Ah. <laughs> it had nearly been a month since Sean saw his family, so I decided to give them some privacy until the next day. Sneeko made a video of you? No, he didn't. He reacted to my video for like 10 minutes. Oh, he did. <laughs> Have you ever seen male bird? No shot. Bro, he reacted to four minutes of my 20-minute video and made an entire video about it. And half of this is the fucking premiere. What is this going to be, a 10-minute video? Do you guys want to watch it after? Do you guys want to watch he it already after? He defended himself with saying, I'll watch that shit after. That's fucking hilarious. That's actually fucking hilarious. All right, remind me to watch that after. Hold up, I'll cue it. I don't want to watch it while it's premiering because then you can't fast forward or rewind and shit. Uh... Women are birds. That's a good picture of me, though. It's a good picture of me. I never said you fell off, though. So, bro, bro, shit on me for clickbaiting my title, saying Andrew Tate's main disciple, and then put in quotations, "You fell off." This was the stream where he reacted to my video for like five minutes. Just like. Wait, where is it? Where he just leaves. Wait. Now now we gotta pause. Now we gotta pause for a second. He just, like, leaves my shit. Like, almost immediately. When I say a good point. Yes! Yes. So, don't women typically want to... Alright. Hold up. God, bro. Doesn't that place the man? Like it the doesn't it doesn't bother me that much. <laughs> Yo, and I get mad about everything. A, a woman says that they're the prize and men are for only money. Like, yeah. They're a they're they're a fucking bitch. But like that's not all women. That's just like these two women. Don't women typically want to date a man on her level or higher? Yeah. Yes. Yes. So, don't women typically want to Says literally nothing, clicks off the video. Right. <laughs> I say a solid, I say a genuinely solid point. Just dead silence, clicks off the video. <laughs> Yo, to be fair, he had some good points when he was, when I was, I was literally typing in his chat and he was like shitting on me. And like, I was like, <laughs> I was like, bro, like I, I, I think he thought that I hated him. And I was like, I don't hate you. Like, I didn't even hate Tate. I was just like, I think a lot of your points are fucking dumb. And then, like, I said I didn't talk about him and Tate in correlation in the video. I did. That's my bad. Uh, but my point was that it's not the main point of the video. And he watched four minutes of my video and then makes a whole YouTube video in response in which he doesn't talk about any of the points that I make other than me saying that he's clout chasing off of Tate. And then he just says, I'm clout chasing off of him. Which makes no sense because this is what I've been doing since the start of my career. I'm not clout chasing off of him. It's what every YouTuber does. It's what, in fact, he does as well. When he gets off on and even like, like all of these fucking podcasts with train wrecks about the gambling and all this shit. It's just, it's just getting, it's getting money and views off of drama. That's what every fucking person in the streaming world does. Like, it's not, like, that, that's what didn't get me. Like, I'll watch the video, but I guarantee you, I, well, not I don't guarantee you. I'll watch this video when we're done, the Mr. Beast one, but he is definitely going to cut out that clip where he just skips the video right at the end when I make a genuinely solid point. One of the first solid points I make, and I make many more after that in the video that he didn't finish, uh, doesn't rebut it, is dead silent, and then just clicks off the video and then goes to something else. Doesn't make sense in, in that regard, right? Taco for the sub, strike for the 500 bets. 
I saw Sneeko I saw Sneeko fan page say common Joe L after you made a good point in your video. Yeah. No, there's been a bunch of TikToks of him clipping that about me, and it has a lot of likes, but then all the comments are like, Joe was right though. <laughs> so it's like funny as shit. No, nah, but like I don't like I related it is dumb that I related like Tate and him together in the title, but it was literally to get people to click on the video. I mean that like that's what you do in YouTube. And he was like, Yeah, you're right. I was like, bro, like, you teach the same shit. Like, your whole course is about getting views. And then you're shitting on me for getting views. Doesn't make sense. Mm. Uh, must be nice to be able to walk out of the red circle. <laughs> yeah. Really appreciate it, Jimmy. That was the best. It's a new day, and Ryan is here, who traveled across America to give me this penny. Hey, guys. John, I'm coming in. Come on in. Do you know what he's carrying? A penny. Do you uh, know why he's We're carrying? watching one of his videos later at the Shrek Fest. This penny? My kids told me all about this. Oh, wait, it. really? Yeah. Oh, uh, no. I'm going to give it to you for entertainment. Really? Here you go. Tomorrow's day number 50, and we have a big surprise for him, but don't tell him, okay? Okay. Okay. All right, let's okay. It is officially day 50 of Sean surviving in the circle. And I invited some of my YouTube friends to celebrate this special moment. I have no idea who, I have no idea who either of these two are other than Ryan. It's us, his YouTube friends. I need a break. Sean! Sean, what day is it? 50? Exactly. In front of you is $100,000 in cash. And if you get out right now, I'll let you keep it. No. What? Why? A hundred grand? I could just chill here and get another four hundred. Like All right. What if it was like a hundred fifty grand? Would it still be enough? I think like above. What amount would you leave for? Mister, who's the boss? Is that this guy? This guy looks familiar. I have no idea who this guy is, but I also don't know him. Like, like for at fifty days in, how much for me to walk out? It would probably be like, like at least four hundred. I mean, like you're halfway through. I'm not gonna leave out for a fifth of the money. 400, I would think You're about. crazy. 400, man. <laughs> okay, well, in case you did say yes, I invited a marching band. Bring in the marching band! Oh, wow. Do you want to know what the best part about this is? I paid them to be here all night. Good luck. Oh. For the first 50 days, I wanted to see if Sean could make it. I've done this, right? I've done 50 days. For the last half of this challenge, we have some pretty crazy stuff planned. This is probably something you'll never see. Oh my god! Oh. Dude, they gonna break his house? They're gonna try and get him to quit? Honestly, I didn't think it was gonna end like this. July 4th, day 54. Happy birthday, America. Are you guys ready? They're lighting them. They're lighting them. They lit oh, them. dude, he is there on the 4th of July. So when did he start? If the 4th of July is like, what, 51 days in, when did he start the challenge? Strikes for the 500 bets. I saw a sneak. Oh, I already read that. Drain for the sub. July 4th, he started. Or July 4th is 51 days in. So he started May, May 28th. <clears throat> yeah, like May 28th around late May. Dude, late May, he ends in what? August? That would suck. And then now it's 4th of July. He's alone. They're going to fucking light fireworks and shoot it into his house. They start throwing quarter sticks of dynamite at his house. <laughs> the house sets on fire. What if he got out right now? You got to watch out for Bro, I just bought random fireworks. I didn't know they were that crazy. <laughs> Why is he standing right next to it? Cease fire! Cease fire! I can't even see! From oh, oh. Oh. Is that a good show or what? Yeah, that's incredible. Honestly, we should become firework experts. Yeah, yeah nice dude, work. I basically am. All right, Sean. More importantly, it is now July 5th, which means we need to leave. Yeah. No more fireworks. We're not going to celebrate anything on July 5th. Okay, thank you. I'm a little terrified of what Jimmy comes up with next. Did you say you're terrified of what I'm going to come up with next? Yes. Do you want me to just leave you alone for a month? No, it'd be even worse. Okay, see you in a month. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. oh, do they actually leave you <laughs> for a fucking shot. month? That's like almost all the days that are left. <laughs> Here's the aftermath. There's multiple times where I was way too close to the edge. You gotta watch out for the circle. So I'm thinking about digging a moat. And if Jimmy's really not coming back for 30 days, I should have an entire moat built by the time he gets back. Today I ate a can of mixed vegetables and a can of turkey. I didn't even heat it up. Food is going to be an issue.
he ate canned turkey and it was cold? Ew, bro. My God. Oh, he is running out of food, dude. He has like nothing. Can of mixed vegetables and a can of turkey. I didn't even heat it up. Food is going to be an issue. This is meat. And it smells. Oh, it's rotten. <laughs> I've kind of tapped out the things to do inside this. Nah, you got, you got like a 24-pack of muscle milk. You're chilling. You're chilling. Foot circle. I dug a moat, made a garden, made a fire pit, which is too hot to use. Uh, made like a fence around the back and made a hammock. So I'm just here existing. I don't feel like doing really anything. So I'm just going to sleep. I feel like that's what I would do. I would just sleep all day. I would be like hibernating like a fucking bear. It would get to the point where I like sleep through whole days and I wake up in a daze not knowing what day or week it is. <laughs> uh, dude, that's what I feel like that's like it's the surefire way to lose your mind. But it also just speeds. You're like warping through time if you just sleep all day. So Daddy's depression, yes. John's house, and I haven't been there in 30 days. Let's see if he's still alive. Just kidding. I check in on the cameras every single day. I know he's alive. Looks like he dug a moat around the circle. Let's see how he's doing. Hey, buddy. Hey. <laughs> Did you miss me? Yes. He throws a brick Does through the window. Pressions? Like, I'm seriously shaking. You're that excited to yeah. see us? No, definitely. Wow. I, mean, I, I had no idea that not visiting Sean for 30 days would affect him this much. Oh. You do look much thinner. Did you lose weight? I'm 22 pounds down. Wow. We've done a lot. He lost 22 pounds in 80 days. You last saw me. What he started May 14th. Okay. He's after the friendship bets. And this is my storm window. And I sit here and watch the storm come in and listen to the lightning. Proud of you. Thank you. <laughs> Things are about to start ramping up. The last 10 days are going to be crazy. What'd you say? Uh, don't worry about it. Honestly, I thought that 30 day challenge was kind of like my my hard challenge, but it sounds like he's not done with me, which is a little concerning. Sean, what's the best way to cut a cake in half? With a knife? Okay. What's the best way to cut a house in half? Oh, shoot. Look, he keeps checking all the windows to see if we're gonna cut the house in half. Look at that. He's what if they so kill him? Just until I return tomorrow. So I was calling Jimmy's bluff on this, but then I just look outside. I need you to cut in half and get rid of that half. They're legit gonna cut my Bro. I just learned how to drive this five minutes ago. God, I just wanna tell you that it's only gonna get harder. That's what I'm worried about. No! <laughs> yeah, how's he gonna sleep now with half the house fucking gone? would actually work. Ah, oh my god! You're good! Oh my god! Yes. In a couple days, we may or may not just burn the house down. If I do anything, I'll let you know beforehand. Okay, yeah, thank you. That was a rough day. It's nine days to go at this point. I don't even care. I don't even talk about how long I've been here. Well played, Jimmy. Well played. I'm staying. So it's officially hotter in my room than it is outside at this point. Sean! I will give you a quarter of a million dollars if you get out right now. That is not worth He's like nine days left. Michelle for the sub, fishy for the sub. Nine days left for fucking uh, 250K less? Bro, I'm gonna just sit through that, bitch. No, it's hot. I wanna give you a way out. It's Terrible so fucking offer. What is this, deal or no deal, Jimmy? Jesus Christ. 100 degrees today, but I think I'd rather die than give up on this challenge at this point. Really? Yeah. Well, that was all. I'll see you tomorrow. Oh. He said he would rather die than give up on this challenge. I don't know about that one. I'd probably rather give up than fucking die. I give you guys full permission to go full idiot mode. Charge! Bro, they're just gonna oh, no, break his going shit. There. Don't worry about Chandler it. must be here. Oh, no, no, no. I think I should go check on what they're doing. What? Over there? Yeah. These windows are kind of useless. Yeah, but... Nothing hurts you more than emotional damage. Wow. Sean is dumb. Thanks for the entertainment, boys. See you tomorrow. I guess they're giving up. I'm setting the house on fire the last day, no lie. I'm setting the house on fire. Regardless of what Jimmy says is allowed or isn't allowed, I'm setting the house on fire. <laughs> like, immediately. Like, immediately. Bobby Boy is spamming Sneeko better, Sneeko better. 
Bro, I don't care. I'll react to his shit. He'll react to mine. At the end of the day, I don't hate Sneeko. I think a lot of his points are dumb. He thinks a lot of my points are dumb. Who fucking cares? Here they come to get their fancy cameras. This is probably something you'll never see on the YouTube side. And now the circle is surrounded by speakers. The worst part is it stops every once in a while. It goes, it goes uh, and then it kicks right back on. This really isn't that bad. Maybe like, like it'd be wall, annoying, flat, but like fill the speaker with water. If I never eat processed food again, I think I might be okay. Hot. Oh my god, hot. All right, do you all see that house over there? Nah! I'm killing one of them. I'm killing one. Dude, if you got me in... Dude, I'm a home alone for fucking 96 days, and they send clowns after me. I'm gonna think that I'm in some fucking horror movie. I'm gonna... I'm, I'm not... I'm just gonna kill one of them. Why don't you just surround it in a circle and say nothing? A bird Break. from Thrush Bets. Should I be scared? What the? Right, oh, and he's holding a up. sledgehammer? Bro, I'm fucking tackling him. Nod your head if you can hear me. Okay, I'll give you all $1,000 each if you stay all night. Wait, I'll give you 2000 if you don't. There's like 11 of them. Oh, there's 11 of them? <laughs> oh my goodness. I'll see you tomorrow. They're just gonna stand there for fucking eight hours? Oh, guess what? And he's playing against himself in chess? He's lost it. He's lost it. Oh, guess what? There's still clowns out here. <laughs> A little extra security there. You have less than 24 hours left in this circle, so we're gonna destroy your house with a wrecking ball to make it harder. What? Chris! What? Tear down the house. All right. Oh, God. And while Chris is destroying the house, I want to tell you guys about the sponsor of the video, Bimbo. Yeah! Ugh. 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 I mean, I have sponsors in my videos, too, but I'm gonna skip through other people's sponsors. No, no fucking cap. I'm gonna make- No cap. I always- ever- always watch a Joe Bart sponsor. Half million dollars Skipping tomorrow. the others. Good night. Can you guys see the timer? There it is, right there. Haven't seen them in a long time. Emotions are hit me pretty heavy right now. Money's the thing we trade our life for. Giving up a third of a year of my life for a half million. Make sure you're I mean, trading that's your life worth. for things that are worth it. Third Probably. of your life for a, a half a million dollars? What would that equate to every year? That's like a two million dollar salary. He basically just made the equivalent of a two million dollar salary. How you feeling? I'm so ready to get out of here. Yeah? Yeah. Do you mind staying in this room while I set up the surprise? I'm not leaving this room. I'm not risking getting out. Okay. It's got to be minutes now. I hear people outside. You can just hear it. Just that background noise of 100 people talking. We're going to blow up your house with propane. It's something Everybody, happening. it's time. Give me a countdown from 10. 10. 9. What? 8. 7. 6. 5. 4. He immediately hands his wife divorce papers. Oh my what song is this? Are you sure? It has been a hundred days. Okay. We were lying. You had to keep track of time yourself. You get nothing. Video over. That's the fake money, though. All right, that was a good video. That was a good video. Do we watch the Sneeko vid now? Oh, God. Oh, God. Ready to watch the, the Sneeko vids? And even like is it done premiering? It is. It's an 18-minute video on me talking for four minutes. How? Is this just a stream clip cut? Is this no editing? This is literally just a cut and paste of the entire start to end from when he fucking skips. Dude, he literally didn't edit it at all. Sneeko speaks for this generation. W. Sneeko for giving thoughtful answers. I wish Sneeko using this method instead of insulting people. W. Improvement. 
It's me reacting to- Oh shit, this is me reacting- This is- this is Sneeko. Well, Sneeko was reacting to me reacting to Sneeko reacting to a video. Now, this is me reacting to Sneeko reacting to my video reacting to Sneeko reacting to a video, okay? So now we're getting into to kind of an Inception type thing here. It's kind of a fifth, fifth, yeah, it's a Reactception going on, right? I'm reacting to Sneeko, who's reacting to me reacting to Sneeko reacting to a video, okay? So now, now it's getting, it's getting very tiered here. It's getting very tiered. To him reacting to me reacting. I'm making the same face in that right corner that I'm making right now. <laughs> the woman is the prize. What would that make the man? Oh, fuck. Should I move my camera over so you can see me? I'm going to be so low res because this is like, this is like four in. I got to move over. I literally have to, there's two of me and two of him. <laughs> what if this keeps going? Where are we going to put our face cams? <laughs> Eventually it'll just be full. It'll be like a wall of me on the top and a wall of him on the bottom. <laughs> all right. All right. A piece of sh worthless wallet. They don't care. I don't know. Just give me your money. The wallet. I mean, this is like 20s. Yeah, he's about it. He already defended himself with saying, if you think I pre recorded this, it's 22 seconds into the video. You could have just watched the first 30 seconds. Okay, it's 20 seconds because that was edited as the intro. And actually, no, I didn't, I didn't pre record this. I got it right. It was, it dropped while I was streaming that day. Seconds and guessed what they were going to say. This, this just dropped. You're stupid for thinking it's 20 seconds in the video because you can hear the intro, you can hear the sound effects. It dropped while I was streaming. Oh, he's fair saying, point. Fair point. It wasn't really. It wasn't really at all the main point of the video. It was just a little side comment there. You know, uh, that's fine. You didn't pre-record the video. I was just giving a little uh, personal point on whether or not you did pre-record it. If I was wrong, I was wrong. Fair. Fair point. Fair point. You're right there. Saying it dropped while he streams. Okay. Typically seen as the prize, the man or. Th uh, yeah, I'm not. It's just this is not even like an edit. It's just a reaction to me. Your shit isn't edited either. What? It is edited. It is complete. This was like an hour long reaction edited to 19 minutes. And I have fucking solid points, bro. Oh my God. Oh my. And he, he, dude, he watches like four minutes of it. It's an 18 minute video of him just talking. I don't want to watch and it. It's a reaction to me, but it's just me. That's what you two go. Yeah, like literally he's just reacting to my comments because he doesn't want to react to the video. Because if he reacts to my comments, he could just defend himself and say that he's self-made. Rather than reacting to the actual video and giving fucking solid counterpoints. The prize, the man or th look at uh, And now they're gonna say that I'm scared, that I don't wanna watch it. I is it a hate video? This other stuff. It's not a hate video! I don't hate you! I don't hate you! I don't. I could not give a fuck. I, I don't hate almost. No, I don't really hate anybody on fucking social media, bro. I don't hate you. I react to everybody on both fucking political sides. This isn't political. This is me reacting to you giving shitty fucking points. I do it with people on both political sides. Stuff I want to watch, man. It's just coincidental that I'm doing it to you and Tate recently because that's kind of been the hype. You are the hype, admittedly. Congratulations. Skip, skip. Okay, I'll, I'll watch. I'll watch up until two minutes. I'll watch. What? And then you make an eighteen-minute video, two minutes, two minutes into the vid, and then you're gonna make an assumption about the entire video's contents two minutes in, two minutes. Up until two minutes, so that people don't say I'm scared. That is being scared, cause I'm not gonna get into anything in two minutes. Two minutes, if it's like a fucking shitty TED talk, then I'd be like, yeah, that shit's fucking mad boring. But like, what? At least go to the G Fuel ad. You don't have to watch it, but it's 10 minutes in. That's halfway through the vid. Face, of course, are the prize. The woman. Okay, I wouldn't say a woman says they're the prize because they're like sexist beings. Uh, a woman says they're the prize because of social standards that have been put in place since like the 16 fucking hundreds. And naturally, the fuck. 
And in nature, women are the prize. That's that's not women being cocky. That's how it is. That's how nature. No, man's the prize. If if women think that. No, no, because I give you a point right after that about every fucking goddamn animal, and then you don't respond to it. In birds, in every other fucking set of nature, women are the prize because the men have to have all these cool fucking these cool fucking uh wings and, and, and beaks and they have to have decent calls and they puff out their chest a certain way and it's all these genetically built things for men because they fight for the women. With female birds are like like just base. Like they all look like the same. But the men fight for the women and the women choose the men in nature. They're the prize, then they will walk all over you. She needs to admire and she needs to look up to you. She needs to respect you. Uh, she that's facts. And that's facts. You're right. You're right. Women should respect men. That is fucking straight up facts. But like, it's, dude, it's like, uh, dude, Sneeko is, uh, like, it's actually props to him. And if this ever becomes for a video, into a video, or Sneeko ever watches this, bro, like, you are a good speaker. But like, you do, you, you do the same shit that like political, political people do. You fucking, you, you get asked a question or a point is brought up and you kind of dilute the point into your other like segment to help your own agenda without ever answering or rebutting the point that was made to begin with, right? And it still works. Like I'm, I'm agreeing with what you're saying, but like you're ignoring what I said, right? Like you're ignoring what I said. You're giving something that's kind of in relation and it's facts, but then it makes people forget like, oh, he just didn't even respond to what the fuck I just said. He just, like, moved on. k -bon for the sub. Glitch for the thousand bits. You doing okay today? Yeah, I'm chilling. I love vampires for the sub. And again, bro, like, I don't hate him. Like, I don't know why he's assuming that I hate him. I understand it because a lot of people shit on him. I saw his reaction to Ryan Beard making, like, a fucking hour-long debunking of Sneeko. I'm not gonna do that shit. I, I don't debunk people. I watch your video, and I give my general fucking opinion on your shit. If I disagree with it, I fucking disagree with it. There is shit in that video that I agree with you on. You watch two minutes of my fucking video, and then when I make a solid point, you just leave the video. So there's no point in, in you even fucking reacting to my shit in the first place if you're not going to actually give it a chance, just like I gave your shit a chance. She needs to think that you're better. You're the prize. I'm the not doing it for clout. Like, yeah, I titled my video for views. So do you. You titled this video fucking hater joins Sneeko's live and gets pressed. I wasn't pressed. Down. She needs to want to be with you if she's the prize and the relationship doesn't work. Is. I know it's different now, but look at Ruben for the 500 bits. Nothing better than watching Joe's stream in the bathroom at Denny's. You're a fucking menace. Emerald for the sub V Ruby for the 300 bits. I was dumped just before your stream. Damn, I'm sorry to hear that. F in the chat. Uh, thank you for cheering me up. You're honestly the best without even trying. You make so many people happy without even realizing. Thank you. I'm glad I could help. Say OR for the sub. Cool boy for the 300 bits. Uh, Emily for the sub, a bird, uh, V Ruby for the sub. That's all I missed. Well, I'm not trying to be that guy. I'm not trying to be that guy. Look at fucking birds. Have you ever seen, have you ever seen male birds? Male birds are always, dude, in like the Amazon forest, male birds have the cool feathers and all that. And the, the women birds are brown. And like, does he have like, why is his, why is his video, like, why is this shit so laggy? Because my video isn't this laggy, but, like, he's watching my shit, and it's just, like, pausing every four seconds. Mushy. And, like, no feathers, nothing on him. Mm -hmm. Like, I, like when he was watching this, it was just fucking lagging out the ass. Great nothing, take. Like, no cool beaks. They're just a bird. The women choose the men. They're just a bird. In, in almost every fucking... Fucking scenario Skip chat. in nature. Okay. That's how it is. Seal. You chat right now, bro. <laughs> fucking any. But like, but like, but like, you're not. But like, yo, chat. Skip though. <laughs> like me actually giving a solid point. Yo, chat. Skip though. Like no, like no lie. Skip though. Like yeah, nah. This shit ain't worth it, bro. I said we skip though. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, the woman for sure. All right. See me. Look, look at that. Too many. Too many reaction screens. All right. That's fair! Women are birds. That's fair! You are right. There's four fucking screen. There's four cams going on right now. I'm in the top. I'm also in the bot. I'm in the top left and top right. You're in the bottom left and bottom right. It is a fa- Yeah, you're right. That there's too much shit going on right now. But still. Think about it. Don't mean to be that guy, but hey, look at a bird. Look at a bird. <laughs>
a key sign that someone has no factual point that they could rebut your argument with. They uh, make fun of how you sound. You ever been in an argument with someone and you say something right and they just repeat exactly what you said in a dumb voice to try and make you seem stupid? But in reality, they made themselves seem stupid because they didn't actually say anything. They just repeated what I said in a dumb voice to make it sound stupid, even though what I said doesn't really in any way sound stupid. I gave a like factual point about animals in relation to men being the non-prizes and women being the prizes, right? Like, I gave, a, I gave a solid point there, and then you just repeated exactly what I said in a dumb voice, and then didn't say anything. The woman. Now, I don't think with- now Again, this is not me hating you. I know you're gonna think, oh my god, he hates me. I don't hate you. But that was dumb. Like, that's not- like, you, didn't, you didn't respond to me. Burned. But women are- oh. Women should be cocky about it. Respond to it. Respond to it. Give a counterpoint. I don't care if you think that I sound dumb or that like, that like, oh, the point is just fucking drawn out and like not entertaining. It's a solid point. In nature, men fight for women. That's how it is. I'm not saying that women should be cocky about it, but like I was rebutting your point instead of just being like, oh, <laughs> Instead, like, like you are, instead of fucking answering my question in any way, shape, or form, you just fucking repeat me. They laugh at us. Ha ha! Give me your money, wallet! Ha ha! I'm the prize! Nah, I really feel like this is, like, him, dude, like, okay, did he start blowing up after Andrew Tate? Because and this is the whole fucking, this is where he grabs on, right? Because later in the video, I'm going to say I didn't relate him to Andrew Tate. Because I don't remember saying this, right? But my general point still stands that this video that he only watched two minutes of is not relating him to Tate. The title is about Tate. I do mention a, a correlation point of him and Tate. But that was kind of, like, in the video, it's just me relating a point to him. I didn't know that he's been doing YouTube for eight years. I'm not in the YouTube scene that much. Somebody sent me these videos that I've reacted to of him. And he's right that he had that he has had clout before Tate did. He had had more clout before Tate got bigger than he did. But, but, my point still stands. This video was not about you and Tate. It was just for clicks to get that fucking people to watch the video in which the title was related that way. Because this just doesn't even seem like, like this seems like he's forcing it. It seems like, like, I, I feel like he honestly just does. Okay. He goes and grabs the plaque. He's going to show the plaque. Like. <laughs> like. 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 <laughs> like, like, oh, you have a mill plaque. Cool. Like, you got it before. I know. I know you did. You've been, you, you have been. I've been on social media for like two years. You are way bigger than me. You, you are more famous. You are more clouded than I am. That is facts. But like, yeah, my point was wrong there. You're right. Okay, I'll give him that. I'll give him that. That point was stupid. You do have a million plaque. You've had a million followers. You have had subs before Tate. That was a dumb fucking point, right? I'll admit where I'm wrong. That was a stupid fucking point, right? But you, you just, you, you just, you just nail in on that. Like, he does it, and I know he's going to zone in on that later in this video, because he did when I was commenting. And it's, it's just, that's going to be the center point of this video. Instead of me, him actually reacting to anything that I fucking said, it's going to be him zoning in on that one point of me relating him to Tate. Doesn't care that much. But he's, like, acting like he cares. You know what I mean? Like, some of my TikToks, but, like, a whole 27-minute video. Oh my. All right. Tifu. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> Good one. I'm blonde and white. <laughs> Good one. Tifu. Skip or are we just Good one. That was hilarious. What a what a good relation. That's also not an insult. Tifu's pretty sexy. Giving too much free cloud away. Chat we up. So everyone every single day and it, act, if, am I exaggerating right now? Every single day, people watch my stream. There's no. This is about where I joined the stream because my mods were like, "Sneeko's reacting to you. Sneeko's reacting to you." One of these videos, another one every day. 
Most of them are from white guys, to be honest. It's usually like a white guy who gets triggered that I'm talking about the stuff I talk about. Every single- I'm like not triggered though. Like in, like in any way, like I don't care. Like I make fun of you and like I'll raise my voice and shit, but it's just because I think the point's dumb. Like I'm not actually triggered. Like if I didn't, dude, and this is me being real. Like if I didn't do social media, I would watch your video. I'd be like, well, that's a stupid fucking point. And then I would throw my phone and I'd be like, I'm just not going to watch that. But since I'm doing social media, people are telling me to react to it. I'm going to fucking react to your video. I'm going to give it a shot, right? Hold on. You all saying skip. Um, yeah, but I, I, I don't, I don't, I'll, I won't watch your stuff. You, you, you don't have to watch my videos. There's a reason they're making a video about it. It's because it's I'm up. Like, I'm up. Yeah. Just like when you got on stream with train wrecks. And got on drama in relation to Twitch, in which you're not even on that platform. You're a YouTube streamer. You got involved in Gamba content on Twitch. I'm not talking about, like, the, the SA cases and all that. I'm saying, like, you were literally talking for, like, an hour about gambling on Twitch when that has nothing to do with you. It's just, like, it's, like, getting in drama that's going to gain views, right? It's the same thing. Like, you're, you are up. That is facts. But, I mean, you react to people that, that are also up. You get involved in certain things that are that are going to breed you views. That's what you do on social media. And I think I say that, and he ends up agreeing with me, but... Skip. It's you... No, usually chat. And, no, shout out Nick Fuentes. I, I ain't no hater on white people. I, lo I, lo I love white people. It's usually a white guy... Yeah, pretty much always, right? No, there was there was an Indian dude. There was an Indian dude. But yeah, almost every single day. Type bro, you already you already asked right. And type of one if if we see these every single day. Every single day. Another one drops. Oh my god. I just gave free cow to him too. You did a kid free cloud to me, bro. The video would have pulled views anyway. We both had the same amount of fucking subs. Like, this is what I don't get. Like, I li like, I'm not, I'm not, like, making these videos so you react to it. I don't care if you ever watch any of my videos. I react to the shit my chat sends me, and then I'm like, oh, yeah, I'll give my opinion on it. No matter the video. Not, all, not every video I'm going to watch. Sometimes my chat sends me stupid ass videos from, like, ten fucking years ago. But, like, dude, I'm if I react to the video, I react to the video. And why does it matter if it's all white people? Like, that's like, like I'm not going to call you racist. I don't think you're racist. But, like, like why does that matter? It's all white people. Okay. White liberals every day. Yeah. No, chill with the racism. I'm not racist, man. Nick Fuentes on my stream all the time. I talk to Destiny all the time. It's usually a white dude who talks about similar issues and then sees... But, like, but like why? Like, why does that, why does that matter? I'm doing it better, and it, I, I live rent free in their head, so they make a video about me. You don't live rent free in my head. I don't care about you, bro. I don't hate you. You're a content creator just like me. They send me your shit. I react to it. I made it a video because I thought it was a good video. That's it. That's it, right? And you can do the same thing to me, and it doesn't matter, right? If you think I made shitty fucking points... React to my video. Shit on my video. That's fine. That's all I do. I react to shit, bro. You're the same fucking way. Your whole channel, not not your main channel, the Schneeko channel, the other channel, your main your main main channel is other shit, right? But this is like you're you're a reactor streamer generally. Like I am. That's usually how it goes. Dudes in the chat. Yeah, I react to what my followers tell me to I ain't and I'm typing this. I'm, t I'm out with my friends, bro. I'm just on this stream. I'm fucking like, I'm sitting. I'm like, bro, what the fuck? I'm like, this man is reacting to me. I'm typing and shit. I'm like, and everybody's like, hop on a call. Hop on a call. I ain't doing it for Cloud LMAO. Well, no. No. I react to what my followers tell me to. I ain't doing it for Cloud. I've seen your videos pop up in my Discord a couple times. You've talked about me like three or four times. Uh-huh. And okay, and and even if it is for clout, okay, and 
you do the same thing. Like, like, like it, it's, it's the whole point of YouTube. You click bait titles like you did with this one. Like you did with this one. Hater joins Sneeko's live and gets pressed. Like, it, like it's the same thing. And then he shits on me for, for my title. And your videos. No, that's not true. And maybe, okay, you're not doing it for clout, sure. Sure. I get, maybe it's not a video essay. Um, but no, I've seen you do this before. It's okay. You can agree with what I'm saying. You know, you can resonate with it. You just said, talked about birds and you talked about how women aren't the, okay, he's in the chat right now. Yeah. Cause they at me in my discord thumbnail section. Okay. Does... I didn't mean thumbnail section. I meant uh Twitch react section. They at me in my discord thumbnail section, my discord section. Take accountability, just like the girls in the video. But uh, me taking accountability. Okay. Uh, Joe, well, um, you're there. You go. There's some clout. He said, "Nah, it pulls views. No funny shit." Oh, so, so it's either you're. I see him chatting. Right. It does pull views. I know. It's either you're clout chasing or not. So yeah, it pulls views. I wouldn't say it's called clout chasing, right? Because I don't care about clout. Like clout is different than views, right? In my opinion. Like, I understand they kind of coincide, but, like, clout is getting involved in drama and being, like, known. I don't really care if anybody knows me. I just want to entertain people, and I'm sharing my opinion on a subject, right? So, it's just, like, it does pull views. Like, that, and that's not me saying, that's my, th like, I'm, this is me agreeing with him. This is me saying, not nah, it for sure pulls views. Because my, I'm up right now. You see what I'm saying, chat? There's a new one every single day. Every day. And don't call, I don't, I, 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 I get triggered when people say I'm scared because I don't want to watch it. You're saying, uh, I don't think he's dude, scared because he doesn't want to watch it. I think he's just not going to have anything to say about it. The other white dude, like last week I made one, I told him to do 10 push-ups, and I'll do it and I'll do it. I'm not going to say his name. Uh, uh, he said do 10 push-ups because I think the guy was like out of shape or some shit. I don't know. I'll do a thousand push-ups. I'll do a thousand fucking push-ups, man. I like, you're not like, I'm not. Like, like realistically, I'm probably like, I, like I could probably outlift you. Like, I'm not, like, I'm not, like, I know you're not making that point about me, but I'm saying like, it's not like, it's not like, I'm, I'm not worried about doing pushups. I don't care about you reacting to me. It doesn't matter. It's just like, but like people do the same shit to me. It's just react content. Good point. Good point by the Bart man, Joe Bart right there. Um, but like people do the same shit to me. It's just react content. Sure. Sure. But I mean, you see the title of your video, um, Discount Andrew Tate, like, or uh, Andrew Tate's main disciple. Andrew Tate's main disciple. You see the title of your video. Hater joins Sneeko's live and gets pressed. Yeah, also you need an apostrophe after, for Tate's. It's a, it's a possessive. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. But, no, that, that's something that we see almost every single day. Like, you could say, you know, it's just, it's about my character. Like, I get reacting to the content and responding, but... 20 push-ups, big dog, I'm white, and I love your stuff, bro. I'm not talking shit about white people. I'm just saying it's usually white people who it, they, they can't grasp it for some reason. Am, am I lying about that? But I'm not not grasping what you're saying. Like, in the video I react to, which he doesn't even really show at all anymore, um, and he only gets about, you know, a minute and a half into the video, uh... <laughs> Out of a 19-minute video in which I say, and I don't know, maybe 35 points, he reaches one of them, the bird point, doesn't respond to it, and then rants about me. And then, you know, just goes on to something else. It's not like, I don't care, bro. Like, I'm not thinking you're scared or some shit. It's just like, what? That's YouTube algorithm. You teach me, you title your vids for clicks too. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true. Everyone's doing it. But my, my point is that, like, I, I'm just, we see one of these every single day. Yeah. Every day. And everyone in the chat knows that, I, that I'm not lying about every day. There's another. No, you're right that a lot of people react to you. But I would say, like, and I'm not even going to say my content's special. My content isn't special, right? Like, I make, I make react content. But what I say isn't, like, some cringy ass. Like, in that video, what I say isn't some cringy ass, like, oh, like, hardcore liberal-esque content. Like, oh, that's offensive. Like, I sit there and I say, yeah, these women are, are dickheads, right? Because the way they're answering the question is just absurd. 
Not all the time. Some of the answers they give, I, I agree with them. But, like, I'll agree with Sneeko. Like, a lot of the shit they say, like, when they say men, men are wallets, yeah, that woman in the video is a fucking bitch. But not all women are like that, right? Like, that's, that was my point. And, dude, that's the end of the video, and he just doesn't answer it. Like, it's, it's pretty predictable. Like, at least if you're going to call me a main disciple. If chat is saying you voted for Biden, I did. Like, why, why is politics being brought into this? This isn't a political argument. You know what I mean? Like, another thing, bro. Like, I'm not, I'm not like some dumbass cuck that's just going to think everything's fucking politics. This isn't politics. This has nothing to do with politics, right? This is you, me reacting to a video of you talking about how women should dress, how women are, and it's like, it, you're, the title of your video that I reacted to was why fives think they're tens, right? And I reacted to that. That has nothing to do with politics. That is a personal opinion of yours that I disagree with. There's no intertwining to political standpoints, laws, anything in that video. We're just reacting to each other. The, the fact that politics is even being brought into it makes no sense, right? Like, yeah, you're right. I'm a liberal. You're probably not. I don't care, right? I don't hate people because of their political fucking opinions, right? Like, you disagreed with me. Yeah, your opinion is kind of shared by a lot of conservatives. That doesn't mean that it becomes a political issue. Just because a lot of people that are conservative agree with you and a lot of people that are liberal disagree with you doesn't mean what you're talking about is a political topic. That's just a coincidence. And try to summarize everything I'm saying as if it's um, derivative of Andrew Tate, then at least sound different from every other reaction. And I do, bro. Like, you don't watch the video. And I understand in the first minute I make that dumbass fucking point. You're right that I compared you to Andrew Tate and I shouldn't have done that because maybe you want to watch the video a bit longer. But at the end of the day, my video wasn't about you in comparison to Andrew Tate. Even though that's in the title, that was for fucking clicks. It's about you in reaction to the video. It's not even really about you. It's about what you're saying. I don't care about like hating you, right? I don't hate you. It's me reacting to what you're saying and shitting on what you're saying or agreeing with what you're saying, depending on what it is. Commentator who's saying the same exact thing about me every day. I told this one who made a video last week, do 10 push-ups on camera and I'll watch your whole video in full. All right? Dude said he hates me. This is me. Ryan Beard, because Ryan Beard made like an hour-long video. He doesn't want to get in Discord call and talk. So I'm not going to... Bro, I already got in Discord call and I roasted him. He looks stupid. I don't feel like... Okay. The is just the title. Oh, okay. this is where he gets me. See, this, is, this was my fatal flaw. F in the chat. This is my fatal flaw. I didn't remember that I... Because I... Dude, I make my... My react... Like, he uploads very fast. And, like, he doesn't really do editing. So, I think that's in part why. Like, it's mainly just spliced content. I sent this to an editor. The video that I posted of him, I reacted to, like, two months ago. Or not two months ago. Like, a month and a half ago, right? And I sent it to my editor. He edits, he edits it up. I didn't remember mentioning Tate in the video. I remember just, like, because I knew the majority of the video wasn't about that. And I said, and this is where my, I'm wrong here. I'm dead ass wrong. I didn't mention Tate in the video. It was just the title. I did mention Tate in the video, but I mentioned him, like, what? I mentioned him that one time. It, uh, we, we have some similarities. Watch Life is Worth it. It's the veganism. Continue eating meat. Wants to he ends up going off about vegans. Genuous, genuous, but is now in your chat looking for clout L. Joe. Bro, gave him 50 bucks. Homie said you came off as disingenuous, but is now looking in your chat for clout, L. Joe. I wasn't really looking in your chat for clout again. Why? What am I gaining? Like, he had, like, 5,000 viewers at the time of this video. Like, I'm not really gaining anything. And also, you were saying that, like, you didn't want to give me clout. And then you made a video about me. Like, it doesn't, you know what I mean? Like, it doesn't make sense. Oh, oh you call me disingenuous? But I was wrong there. I didn't, I called him disingenuous in the fucking video itself. Okay. Now, why are you watching this, Joe? 
Why are you like this? This see, people are so quick because I'm a, a truth seeker and because I. The reason I call you disingenuous to a degree is because you you say that you're a truth seeker and you want to share the ways to becoming successful and all, and that's like a, a big point of yours. Then why is your why does your course cost a lot of money? You know what I mean? Like I understand you're profiting off of it, and like props to you. I if I was making a course of similar extent, I would also make it cost money. But, like, why Why does it cost money? If, like, the whole... And it was the same thing, like, a lot of people that sell these courses are. And that's why I titled the video Andrew Tate's Main Disciple is because you're selling a, you're selling a success course, basically. Um, I try to... I, I live rent-free in a lot of these people's heads. He's going to talk down on my name. And it's, like, how much is it? It's right here. Creativity kit. Join. It, like, you're... It's $50 a month. What's included? Creativity kit owner Discord role, the creativity kit, Musa addiction, Sneeko additions, uh, not addictions, and bonus content for fifty dollars a month. Like it's just I don't know. Like that's why. Like that's why I said that. Like and again, I don't fucking hate you. I like it's like every every time I react to people, it's not just you. Like a lot of people think like on TikTok or just in general, if I react to somebody, I fucking hate them. But like I don't hate you. Like, it's just, I just think a lot of the shit you say just is, like, wrong, right? And it's just, I understand it's a, it's a subjective opinion, and that's why you argue about it. Because at the end of the day, there is no objective answer to a lot of the things that you talk about. Same with a lot of the things that I talk about. Same, talk down to me. In the you never said that? I never said what? The title, called me disingenuous in the video. I don't know if I called him disingenuous in the video. If I did, I did. Like, I, like, but, no, that's what, to back up that disingenuous that's why uh fake alpha male andrew tate copycat fake red pill blah 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 he never said any of that and blow up before doing that that's what you said like you're, you're backtracking on a lot of shit right now joe like but i had the well, you have gained substantial traction after you started streaming and doing similar things but again yeah i know you did have the mill plaque before you're you're right on that i started i just started streaming this is my side hustle this is my side hustle. I didn't blow up streaming. It's not a side hustle. It's a main hustle because his main hustle is making money off of this, which he promotes through streaming. He probably does have a lot of assets. Again, because if he ever sees this, he's going to fucking counterpoint and he's going to say, oh, well, actually, I have assets here and here and here. Okay, that's fine, right? But you are making a substantial... Uh, when, when somebody says side hustle, it, it, it always is like an assumption that they're not making a shitload of money comparable to their main income. You are probably making a fuckload of money off of this. And props to you, bro. But like... That that's just why I'm not I'm not even mad about it. Like, hit a milli doing creative videos for nine years, man. You react to Gerber Johnson. Did Gerber Johnson did another white dude make a video about saying the same shit? <laughs> but I didn't uh, read hard to do ten push-ups. Those types of videos are getting old. A whole lot of meat watching. Oh, you did! Wait, wait, wait! That's been so Yeah, here it is. This is where he, This is where this is where he knows that I did say that. Yeah, that's where I was wrong. Say any? You've heard me call me a fake red pill. Pill saying something, and you see, and they do. Andrew, people would rather take the quick route, and this is the clout chasing because Joe probably likes my videos. He probably actually agrees with me if he if he took time to watch it. He probably agrees with me a lot on a lot of shit. I do with a video, and you didn't fucking watch it. I say, I agree with your point on them, uh, like, not, most of the video I disagree with you, admittedly, right? But I agree with you on some shit that you say, and I said the same thing, bro, as much as Andrew Tate wasn't that great of a guy, I agreed with Andrew Tate on some of the shit that he said. It's just like the why, it's, it's, your issue, Sneeko, is giving a wide assumption of all women about an individual interview of one or like f two, three, four, five women, right? Like that's not, that's not, you can't make an assumption about all women because this one bitch said all men are wallets. Like, yeah, that she's a fucking bitch, right? But like not all women are like that. But he would rather get clout by talking down on my name, which is, which is good. You guys should do it too. It's helping out my career. I'm going to keep going up. I'm about to get another. Well, dude, it's the same thing. It's like, you're going to conflict breeds discussion, right? And this is a fact. And, and I'm about to spit fucking, I'm about to spit fucking philosophical fact here.
Conflict breeds discussion. If I agreed with everything that you said, the video would suck fucking dick. And that's a fact. Why do you think that content creators that are reactors, a lot of the time, react to shit that they disagree with? In part, because then it breeds fucking discussion. It breeds people saying something. If I just watched my own video, what am I going to say? Oh, yeah, that's facts. Oh, yeah, no, that's so facts. Well, that's facts, right? Like, what? Like, it, it, it's never, it doesn't make sense. Actually, I'm not going to get a million plaque because I got a strike, but I'm about to hit a mill on my second channel. So go ahead, do it. Everybody's doing it. It's the trend right now. It's the trend. And they're, they're going backtrack. He's in the chat right now. I see him typing, bro. You're, you're backtracking. It's fine. But you don't get points. Everybody will talk down on you if you speak positive energy into the air. If I say I fuck with Fresh and Fit, I fuck with Tristan Tate, I fuck with Andrew Tate, Dick Ryder. But you're not getting, no, like, yeah, a lot of people that say that, like, yeah, you get you get a bunch of flack for, for the positive energy you put into the air towards Tate, Tristan, and all that. I'm not shitting on you for that. I did bring up the Tate point, but the main central point of that video was not shitting on you for liking Tate. The, the, the reason I disagreed with you is not because of the positive energy. It's the negative energy of you saying, oh, you're an astrology whore. Oh, you're a bitch. All women are like this. Women should just wear hijabs in public if they don't want to get fucking uh, sexually assaulted and shit like that. Like, that's a dumb point. Like, that's just stupid. Like women, like, like and, and I give a point. I give so many good points. I, I, I talk about, oh, if a man wore short shorts in public, he should be allowed to do so. Yet if a, people were just staring at his junk, that's not his fault, right? Like he shouldn't have to wear fucking pants so people don't stare at his genitals. Like it's the same. Like I give these points in this video and like what you're saying is like, it doesn't make sense. You didn't watch the video. So obviously you're going to make these assumptions without ever seeing it, right? It's just like, I, it, dude, you don't have to watch the video. I don't care. Like, I don't fucking care, bro. I'm watching this shit. My chat told me to watch it. It's just like, I, obviously you're not going to, you're, you're going to make these assumptions if you didn't see it. EZAP! Sneeko as an L. EZAP for the 11,000 fucking bits, dude. Garbage for the sub, Jamal, for the sub. Dude, you are a beast. Drazzy for the sub. What's vape? China, INAP for the sub. Alex, Arctic, Xbox for the sub. Lope for the third bets. Difference of overall intelligence between you and him is crazy. I don't think he's dumb. Like, I don't think Sneak... I think Sneeko's a smart guy. It's just like he disagrees. Like, he has different... He has almost polar opposite opinions than me on certain topics, which aren't related to politics. Uh, he's smart in terms of gathering an audience in social media. However, part of that, not that smart. He reaction to your counterpoint just says it all. He's inability to respond to criticism and critically think about the conscious, the consequences of what he's saying is absurd. Well, I don't, I don't, I don't think he's like not thinking of the consequences of what he says. It's just like, he didn't give a counterpoint. He just, Im he just imitated my voice and made fun of it and then called me Tifu. XOXO for the sub and ease up yet again. Thank you for the 11,000 bits. You are a fucking beast. Dick rider, dick rider. If you, if you just talk down on someone, if you say someone's a cloud chaser, you say someone's fake, if you say someone's disingenuous, if you say I only blew up because I copied Andrew Tate, you'll get all your fans in the comments will be happy about it. Now the attention's on you. So everybody's in this attention battle right now. Everybody wants to be worshipped and I don't want to be worshipped. I don't want to be an alpha male. I don't want to be a fucking, I don't want pe people to worship me like they worship celebrities. I just want- I don't want to be worshipped either, dude. That's fucking parasocial. I ran about that all the time. When somebody says I love you in my chat, I say it's fucking weird. Like, I, I don't want, like, I don't want to be worshipped. I want people to like my content. My job as a content creator is to entertain people and entertain people alone. That's it. That is it. The, the, my interaction with people in real life are just the same as they are with my, like, yo, what's up, bro? How you doing, man? Everyone's like, yo, it's good to meet you. It's chill. I don't get ah, ah, that's not that's not how people are like. I'm the same off stream as I am on stream. I don't want to be worshipped. I want to be in here just to be able to talk my shit. I don't want people. To, I don't want to be always right. If you're gonna seek truth, you're gonna be wrong sometimes. I don't want you to, to take what I'm saying and take it fully at face value. I want to encourage critical thinking, and that means knowing that I'm a human and I make mistakes and I say the wrong things sometimes. 
I am saying right now, I can make mistakes just like everybody else. But everybody else on the internet wants to act like they know everything. So, dude, obviously I'm going to act like I know everything, but like I pointed out where I've been at flaw here, right? Like I'll point out where I've been at flaw, whereas like I gave a good point. You just imitated my voice. You, you're ranting for 15 minutes and then you're going to watch the end of my, you're going to watch the end of two minutes out of my 19 minute video and then click off of it. When someone starts speaking the truth and seeking it like me, everybody else needs to try to find cracks and bring me down. But saying something positive, you ain't getting no points. You think we'll call you a Sneeko dick rider. Why are we always watching Sneeko? This is the third time I have ever watched Sneeko on my channel. Like, I, or fourth, ever. Like, I, I don't watch him that frequently, comparable to how much I watch Tate. The only reason I'm watching this is because he's literally talking about me. Yeah, you see him in the you see him you see him in the chat backtracking right now. Yeah, for being in his presence. Yeah, well, gotta go. Okay, <laughs> there you go. Popping right now. People think we're going Trump. Of course, it's a little bit exposed. Your fan sets with stinko. I am in your head. Those are I half push-ups. I'm in your head. Place the man like it doesn't it doesn't bother me that much <laughs> yo and i get mad about everything a, a woman says that they're the prize and men are for only money like yeah they're a they're they're a fucking bitch but like that's not all women that's just like these two women don't women typically want to date a man on her level or higher yeah. yes yes so don't women typically <laughs> That's it. Doesn't say anything. Watches two minutes of the video. Clicks off. Like, I don't... Somebody is in, in his chat called me a Satanist. Uh, a lot of people call me a Satanist because uh, I took off my cross, and I'm a philosophy and religion major, and I kind of say faith is subjective by definition. Uh, but it's more so as a means to have people be respectful of other religions. Faith, by definition, is the strong belief in God or the doctrines of a religion based on spiritual apprehension rather than proof, meaning that it's subjective, right? And so, like, when I say that type of shit, people get really defensive and, like, they call me a Satanist or that, like, I'm the derivative of the devil. But, like, I, it's, it, it, it's out of me trying to say be respectful of others' religions, right? So it's like, and, and even even so, like when people say a Satanist, I feel like a so, lot of people don't even know what Satanist is. That's says. just like the, like not all Satanists are doing like devil worship ask weird shit. <laughs> Joe used to be funny. That is until he became a crazy liberal. Perhaps to do his, perhaps due to his activist girlfriend. <laughs> Bro, I was a liberal since my sophomore year of high school. I, my, he's saying Brooke made me a liberal. Brooke didn't make me a liberal. Brooke didn't make me a liberal. That's fucking funny, though. My, my girlfriend is very, I, admittedly, my girlfriend is a very, very hardcore liberal. I will disagree with my girlfriend on some political things. Uh, she is very liberal. That is true, but I don't like, I, I, like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna speak my mind on this type of shit, right? That is fucking funny, though. Somebody redeemed Flex. No, it's like it's whatever though. Like I like I'll like my girlfriend's even more liberal than me. I, I would say like I'm not actually like I I'm a social democrat, but I'm actually like not that like I'm not like so far left that like I won't hear out conservatives on most topics, right? Like I have conservative friends. I don't care where people are in the polit political spectrum. It's like if, if you disagree with me, you disagree with me. I'll argue about it, but it's whatever. Nobody gives Speako his pie because he's obnoxious. But he's right. Every day I see a new TikTok uh, one-hit wonder guy making a video on Sneeko sad as fuck. Not Jew boy, Joe Bartolozzi. How, how am I a one-hit wonder? <laughs> I can see Joe reacting to this dub JoJo better. Oh, God. Don't call me JoJo. Sneeko reacts to so much Hassan in H3H3 videos. It's fair game. Facts. As I said, bro, like it's like you you react to other people. I'm gonna react to you. It's the same shit. You're a one hit wonder. It is what it is. What does that even mean? A one hit wonder is like oh you've done one thing. That's good. Like a song. 
How am I a one hit wonder? That doesn't even make sense. Um, that's a lot of L takes on your recommended list. Well, it's obviously going to be a Sneeko video, a bunch of Sneeko videos on my recommended when I'm on a Sneeko video. Um, but it's like, it's like you're saying you spread positivity, but like a lot of your shit is also negative, bro. Like just like mostly every content creator. I don't know. It's just like, I'm not mad. Also, no, my, I, I don't know. It used to be funny until he became a crazy liberal. Like, I don't even really chat. Do I get too political? Like, I don't really talk about politics that much. Like, I'll talk about politics if it's brought up. But, like, the whole premise of this entire video isn't even political. Like, it, it has nothing to do with politics. It, it, like, the whole video that I made on YouTube or even this video of his has nothing to do with politics. And, yeah, I am from New Jersey, which is a largely Democratic area. So, at least you know that. That's good. So, what's new? Um, no, but it's just like, it, it, dude, politics are like, just because I share my political opinion also doesn't mean you should hate somebody. And it shows, it shows the disconnect of people that like this kid doesn't like me anymore because he found out I'm a liberal. Like, I really don't think that that is something that should be like, oh, I hate you now. Like, dude, okay. You disagree with me politically. A lot of people in my chat are conservative and they watch me. It's like, whatever. Just because like, dude, I don't really talk about politics that much. I'll share my political opinion sometimes. But, like, that whole video wasn't even political. All right, I'm done with that shit. We got to move on. R one Riddler for the sub. Oh, Hadzi for the sub. Colin for political. the thousand bets. Disney sniffer is too political? Nah. Nah, but it's not, like, I... It, it's not even, like... Dude, I I don't think I got... Chat, have I gotten too political? Be dead ass. He's out for the 300 bets. Chicken and insert name for the sub. Like, I don't think I, I don't think I'm too political. I mean, like, maybe, but it's just like, a, like, I, I don't really, I don't really talk about, like, when do I, t when was the last time I, like, talked about politics? You know what I mean? Like, I don't really, I don't really mention politics, like, often at all. Like, I, I don't know. I don't know. All right. Yeah, it's just like, I'll talk about philosophical points, like, stuff that's usually, like, more like, it, it's intertwined with politics, but it's more, like, philosophical. Like, that. Like, it's, like, your opinion on whether or not women should be more clothed in public. That's not a political thing. That's more so, like, just a take. I don't know. All right. Uh, Next video. Murderer, one-punch killer, sniper, and gangster on how it feels to kill. You guys sent me this video a shitload of times. You're letting that one comment get to you? Well, yeah, no, that's how social media is. If you want me to be real, uh, all social media creators are going to focus on hate more than positivity. That's just how it is. If somebody talks shit about you, it's going to affect you more than if somebody says something positive. All right, next. This video. I went, I'll blow your f***ing head off. I went, how about that? Yes, Jacob. Your punch man knocked him out one punch. Is this man dead? He can't be dead. I've just killed someone. What kind of kid were you when you were growing up? Um, active. Energetic. Yeah, you guys sent me this. You guys, this was out of the last week. This is the most sent video in my Discord. Confident. Um, outspoken. I wasn't shy. I kind of, I don't know, I felt like a bit of a protector around my friends that I felt were vulnerable, you know? And stuff like that. A bit of a defender, if you could say that, you know? What would you say was a turning point in your life? Well, it has to be in 2003, isn't it? When I was 19. And um, my best friend at the time called me. So they've he, all killed people. And they're going to speak on how they all f have killed people. He told me that... Is he not in prison anymore? Yeah, probably not. I mean, you can... How, how long do you go to prison for murder? And I mean, this is in the UK, it seems, but... Like, usually it's not a life sentence. It, 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 you, you could get out in, like, 30, 40 years. It's, like, 25, 30. Yeah, like, 40. You can get it You can get it as low as 40. Yeah, so, like, realistic. Yeah, but he seems pretty young. So maybe he only wants to... He might be... He calls you... Wait. He's after the fringe of it. Sneeko calls you a cloud chaser but copied somebody who was trending. Well, I don't know if he copied them because he did have those takes before, but he did kind of get on the bandwagon more heavily then. One Riddler for the fringe bets. 
I feel like the feelings when you kill somebody would most definitely, most definitely depend on the person. Well, yeah, that's why they're going to talk about it. Him and his girlfriend, he was with at the time, had been going for a bit of a rough patch, not talking to each other maybe for like a week or two, you know, on and off sort of thing. But during that period of time when they were going through their rough patch, she, um, his girlfriend... Should I turn on subtitles? Got raped by somebody. When my boy first told me what happened, I said to him, why didn't your girl go to the police? And he said she's scared to go to the police. And she just wanted him to do something to just stop this man from, you know, troubling her again. The plan was he was going to pull up at the bus stop, what he did, and, and meet her. And we was in a phone box waiting for him with two baseball bats. Jesus. When he did arrive, came out the phone box, we approached him as he was talking to the girl. He saw us coming. Um, he grabbed the girl and held her. Why are you going to grab her like that and hold her like a shield? You've done something guilty. My reaction was to hit him with the bat to get him off of the girl. My boy done the same thing, hit him a few times, he let go of the girl. Then obviously he was trying to disarm me and take my bat off of me. I'm tussling him with the man, going back and forth. He's trying to get the bat off of me. I'm hitting him some more. It was more just a, a human reaction thing, innit? You, rapist, monster man, is not taking this baseball bat off of me. So if I have to keep swinging it, and hitting you so you can't take it off of me, maybe turn it back on me, then that's what's going to happen. And I just kept swinging it until he stopped trying to grab it. He dropped on the floor on one knee, and then I just ran across the road, shouted to my boy, let's go. We ran off, and that was it, basically. Wow. From where I lived at the time, we could see the police put up the tent around his body and all the road taped off. And stuff. Dude, so he beat him to death with a fucking bat. How long do you think that would have taken? Like, how many swings? And um, they were just there for hours. And that's why I started to think this is, has probably gone way too far because... Maybe why that's why he didn't get as long of a prison sentence, too, because the person he killed wasn't, like, innocent. A tent I don't know. Him. Is this man dead? He can't be dead. I only hit him a few times with a baseball bat in the head and around the shoulder, neck, and wherever else. It was about... I don't know, five or six days later, Crime Stoppers put posters up around the streets where it happened, um, saying that the man had died. Is there any information on this man? To this day, you know, it's a strange feeling. Sometimes you don't really... Oh, do you think he didn't go to jail? No, maybe he didn't get caught. Well, then he wouldn't show his face, right? Because he could still get charged with that. Barbecue boy for the fucking 10 gifteds. No, he had to have gotten caught. There's no shot he would come up and be like, yeah, I killed them. Well, I mean, it was 20 fucking years ago. Or, or 19 years ago when it happened. Barbecue boy for the 10 fucking gifted. So I don't know. Maybe. I don't know if he would have gotten. You know what that feeling is, but it's there. It's hard to explain. Mm. I don't know. You feel bad about yourself and then you question yourself. Like, am I a bad person? Am I a good person? You know, am I wrong? Am I right? I don't know. I'm a religious person as well, so I think it's in the hands of God, isn't it? I was out with my friends on a night out. Um, it was one of my friend's 18th birthdays. And we were just out all day drinking. As the clubs closed on that night, I got some calls from my friends who I got separated with who were in another bar causing trouble. And they would ring me up and say, oh, Jacob is kicking off. You need to come, come back us up. Dude, this guy killed somebody in one punch. How do you kill someone in one punch? Do y'all think you could even fucking do that? I'm blows for the sub. If somebody stood still and I fucking full-fledged punch him as hard as I could, I don't think I'll kill him. So me being the... Literally one punch man. You know, what, 18, 19 year old I was back then. I only cared about my friends. And so I went running down to the scene and um, I sadly took it upon myself to get involved and um, threw, I threw a punch at the guy that my mate was arguing with. And, um, oh, you can tell he regrets this. He seems... 
Like, that guy seemed like he talked about a chill. Like, this guy seems, like, sad. And he fell on the floor. My friends came around the next day, knocked on the door. I answered out the window. And um, their response was, yes, Jacob, you, you know, you. Barbecue boy for the 10 gifteds, dude. Sick for the sub. Dude, what the fuck? Thank you for the 10 gifted subs, barbecue boy underscore QC. You are a fucking beast, dude. God damn. Big dubs in the chat. Big dubs in the chat. Thank you for the 20 gifted cumulative menace. <laughs> Zombie for the sub. Barbecue boy should be high on the leaderboard, maybe. For subs. You've been giving a shitload of subs, bro. Thank you for the subs. Insane. Your punch, man, knocked him out one punch. Like, trying to, like, praise me um, for what I did. And I guess at the time, I felt a little bit of a... A little bit of pride getting that acknowledgement from my friends. And then a couple more weeks passed, and I ended up... My mum had saved up some money to actually take us on holiday. Um, and we went to Tenerife. And then a couple of days later, after we come back from that holiday, the police. Barbecue boy for the 25 gift nets! Only Pezzy for the sub, too. Dude. What the fuck? Hurricane for the sub. Why are there so many fucking subs today? Barbecue boy for the 25 fucking gifteds, dude. You are nuts! Thank you for the 25 gifted subs. Actual fucking beast, dude. Dubs in the chat. Pog in the chat. Thank them if you got a sub. 45 fucking subs. Better thank him if you got a sub. 45 new subs to the chat. Thank you, barbecue boy, for the subs. 25 and 10 and 10. So 45 subs altogether. Damn. Started raiding me and all my friend's house. And this was a month after that punch. Um, and then that's when it started to become a reality that someone had actually passed away because of my actions. How did it make you feel? A mixture of every unpleasant emotion combined. Shock. And it was a month later and he didn't know. How do you kill someone in one punch, though? How does that even ha- Oh, he fell on his head? Oh, I was gonna say, like, there's no way you just not- You just hit somebody and they die. Like, he had to have fallen on his head and then had to go to a hospital and then he probably died, like, a few weeks later. Only Pezzy for the 500 fucking bits. It's Peasy, not Pezzy. My bad. Only Peasy for the 500 bits. Disbelief, self pity, and I—I I guess at that time I also felt unfortunate. I felt like I was, um, why, why has this happened to me? My mum was um, the best way to describe it is hysterical. She just kept crying about the pain that. The other person's mum would be feeling. And I find that really difficult to. Um, would you go to jail for that? Like, if he was. It, like, did he just run up and punch a guy, or were they fighting already? I know he said he went there and people were fighting. If, the, if you were in a fist fight for, with someone. And then you punched them, like say they punch, like they were beating the shit out of you, and you punched them, and they ended up dying. I feel like you you wouldn't go to jail, but it, the way he told the story, it seems like he just kind of ran up to the guy and decked him, and then he died. So like, I can try and think about. The court hearing was hard, you know, for me because all I'm thinking is, I just want this jury to hear from the girl. She was excluded from our trial. Wow. She's got a plea bargain for conspiracy to assault. She's the, per the reason why her and this guy, why this all started. Obviously, we're not going to hear from the guy. We need to hear from her. 
they didn't get to hear from her, so it was difficult for me, you know? Sitting in there as a young black man, I thought, oh my God, I'm already on the back foot. Yeah, I just had to just, just sit there and just take it. I gotta in. piss so bad. I have to pee so fucking bad. Miss her for the sub, dude. Holy shit, I have to pee. I've been holding the chat. Like, I'm not gonna be able to hold it through the whole video. Count me now, 30 seconds. Also, look, chat. The tattoo's starting to fucking bubble up. All the ink's going everywhere. It's healing now. It's healing. It's healing. Ugh. And then sometimes when your barrister isn't saying what you want him to say and fighting for you how you want him to fight, then, you know, you can't really jump up in the court and just start saying no you didn't say that right you're supposed to say this and say that because obviously it compromises your character you're gonna have a whole jury looking at you like you're some savage and you're not trying to be a savage are you you're just trying to be a normal person the court hearing was um it was packed i didn't know who was in there there was like random people from off the street who'd managed to get in there who were just being nosy there was some of my family in there people who i didn't know journalists and then obviously I was told that, you know, the family of the, of, of the person who passed away was also in the room. So I think what I did is I put my head down, looked at the floor for the entire process because I pled guilty early. So there was like no trial or anything. I didn't try and- Wow. Um, what they would say, bus case or you know. But do you think he should feel bad? Like, I, I don't know. I I wish I... I don't want to restart his whole fucking story. Like, why did he punch the guy in the first place? Because it was like an accident. Like, you know what I mean? I would feel terrible, but I also don't think, like, he... I don't... Like, I don't think this guy's, like, a bad person. You know what I mean? Because, like, he didn't mean to fucking kill a guy. And even this guy over here. I mean, he killed, like, an actual terrible person. Like, so I don't think either of these people are bad people. It's just like, I think that the, the one guy had a reason and this guy was just like, it was literally an accident. Trying to get away with it. And, and yes, yeah, so, and then all of a sudden I was looking down at the floor and the prison guard next to me pulled me um, down. His friends were getting jumped, so he went to defend them. Okay, then he might, bro, why is he even going to, so it was like defense then. But it was defense against him. Murder is murder. Yeah, but like, I'm saying like, I don't think these people, like, murder's murder, but they didn't just maliciously kill someone for no fucking reason. This guy literally didn't even mean to. He punched a guy one time, and then this guy killed somebody that was, like, raping somebody. Random for the sub. A bird for the three hundred bets. It was a bar fight. Okay. And, uh... I didn't even know how long I got. I didn't even know that it was all over and I was going to prisons. Were you scared? Yeah, I was, I was scared, and um, it just felt awful, to be honest. Wow. What was your sentence? It was 12 years, uh, but I did eight months on the man, so the judge ended up sentencing me to 11 years and 127 days. It's only 19 at the time. We'll get out when I'm 30-something. 
I was... Dude! Oh, that sucks! Dude, a chat. Like, imagine going to prison right now, and you don't get out for fucking 12 years. I mean, some people, it's even worse. Some people don't get out for, like, 50. Sentence to... I think it was 13 months. In the end, it was two and a half years. What? Oh, well, the one guy actually beat the guy to death with a bat. This guy punched him one time. 30 months? What is that, two and a half years? Um, an early guilty plea gets you a third off your sentence. Um, I hadn't had any previous criminal convictions. My probation officer kind of wrote to the judge in the pre-sentence report just saying that she felt the longer that I was probably in prison, the more unhelpful it may have been. Tell me about your childhood. My dad was a builder. My mum was a An ex-London gangster. This guy's going to go on a rant about how he's killed like 45 people. And this, pro this dude probably never got caught. This guy this guy's about to tell us a story that no one's ever heard. He's about to tell us, yeah, I murdered like, uh, I don't know, 25 people. It was nothing. My mum, like she had eight kids. I was a baby, so I got spoiled. And uh, I went to good schools. I went to grammar. My family was all straight goers. I was the one who corrupted them all. I was walking through a park, a couple of my old school friends, one of them let off a starting pistol, so the two coppers come in. And uh, they started getting heavy with them, and I went, oh, you can't do that. I said, you've got to have a responsible adult prop, you know, there. He went, what, are you a lawyer? I said, no, but I know my rights. And he went, okay, walked out, they come back, threw a razor on the floor, cutthroat. And um, he went, we're nicking you, but that come out your pocket. I went, what are you talking about? So they nicked me, took me to Stoke New England, he said, they said, if you plead guilty, it'll be a 10 bob fine. If you don't plead guilty, then you... <laughs> what is a 10 bob? What is this? I, like, what... TR is Zan for the sub. Is that $10, 10 pounds? Go up the steps. He said, you're going to get a box of all that. So I've done guilty. When I've gone back to, to work, of course, they've read it in the newspaper. I lost my job. And with criminal record, it was very hard to get another job. So what opened up to me, I thought, if you're going to make me a bad guy, I'll show you how bad I can be. People said, called me a gangster. I didn't like it. One guy called me a gangster, so I stuck a gun in his mouth and educated him that I weren't a gangster. And uh, I said, look, I'm a businessman, and my business is crime. At one stage, I'm sitting in the pub, uh, all my pals having a drink because they were drunk, and Tony Greek come in to me. This guy's, like, straight out of the movies, bro. This guy, This guy is straight out of the... Like a fucking James Bond type movie shit, bro. Oh my god. I'm not a gangster. I'm just my I'm a businessman and my business is crime. That's fucking insane. That is like that is like the the do you think he said that before? You think that he came up with that out of nowhere? That's like a savage quote. He said, You know the fish and chip shop where your mum and dad goes? I went, yeah, he said, Well, they're in bits. He said, like a couple of Turkish guys got their daughter on heroin and trying to get her out on the gun. And I went, do what? He said, yeah. And I know this family. They're all working people. You know, they're in that fish and chip shop from dinner time, working through the night time, you know, covered in grease and they're nice people. He said, and they know about you. They've heard about you. And they want to talk to you and make it go away. I said, okay. Oh, so they're going to pay him to kill someone? Yo! Dude, this is like some fucking... Dude, when do you think he killed somebody? This had to be in like the 60s. This guy is so old. I got him to see him, and he had this biscuit tin, bless him. And he opened up the biscuit tin, he had rolls of notes in it. He said, Bobby, he said, you know, he's crying, his wife's crying, and I felt bad, you know? And he said, you know, these people, terrible people, you know, tell me what they... He said, and we don't want the problem. We work people. He said, we, you know... I said, what don't... crime do you think he did, though? Like, what type of gangster, even though he doesn't want to be called a gangster, what do you think he did? Like, because it seems like he wasn't in the drug business. What business was he in? All of them? <laughs> he was in every crime business? He was a hitman. You really don't... I don't think he was a hitman, bro. It would have said hitman, not a gangster. Don't worry, I'll make it go away. So he gave me the biscuit tin and even their savings. I don't want to take money off of them. I'm going to nick it off of people who really got it. So I said, no. I said, what you do, if we come in here, we get fish and chips free. And if my mum and dad come up here, you give them their fish and chips free. Okay? I said, and that's the price. 
So I'll come out and I'm going to murder someone for you. You don't have to pay me. You just give me free food when I come in. That's the fucking that's the fucking deal. That's the fucking deal. Frank was sitting in a motor. He was my driver, old Frank. He went, what's going on? I said, tomorrow, I said, at 7 o'clock in the morning, I said, bring the car around. I'm not messing about with these people. They're dangerous. I'm going to shoot them. So I got out of the motor, got the sawn off, one's under the car. I walked in and I shot him through the leg. And I went, I'll blow your fucking head off. I went, how about that? And I said, if you ain't off the manor in 24 hours, I'm going to blow your brains out. What does it feel like to shoot someone? Well, I weren't shooting in my head, right, because they used to say, how they do it? So you don't feel bad about it. They'd say, we've got a rat. So the, the humanise them. They're not a person anymore. They're a rat. So what I'm shooting is vermin. So I... Whoa, dude. So he convinces himself that they're like, they're like a rat in terminology, but like he genuinely dehumanizes them to the point where he's just killing something. It'd be like him killing like a rabbit or rat, whatever, right? Wow. No problem with that. You've got to dehumanize them so that they're just an object to be targeted and you target them and you do it. To me, everything was business. It didn't matter whether I liked you or didn't like you. If someone said to me, there's X amount of pounds, we went on shot in the leg, I'm going to look at it and think, right, if I shoot him, I get caught, I'm going to do this much jail. If I'm clever and I don't get caught, that's more money for shooting. So it's not as glamorous as people think. It's like anything where you're shooting them, cutting them. Once you've done one half a dozen or too many, you become hardened. And that's why it's very hard for you to show love and emotion, that sort of thing, because you've got to bring the shutters down. Because if you don't, you'd go insane. Or you'd put one in your own mouth, you know? Wow! Dude, I d that guy has to be the most interesting person in the world, actually. He just said you have to shut down all your emotions because if you don't, you go insane or kill yourself. Wow. Can you remember the first mission you were sent on? Yeah, I can. It was in Iraq. We are in the Maysan Desert. And the Maysan Desert is a vast, vast place. And it's desolate. We were getting... Scarcore for the Thringe Bits. This guy speaks like when my parents tell me something right after I wake up. <laughs> but like you're in a daze and confused. You only understand every third word. Young for the Thringe Bits. Did y'all see what happened in Colorado with the cops and the train? Chat, what happened in Colorado? Video shows train hitting Colorado police car with person handcuffed inside. Wait, should I scan this video first? Should I scan this video first? No, that's a... Why did they stop on train tracks? Stay back! Did us medical immersion. The suspect was in the vehicle that was hit by the train. You think those police officers are going to get fired? Why did they stop on train tracks? Like, what? Stay back! Well, she's going to be fine. But, like, what the fuck? Why did they stop there? Uh. Ugh. There's also another thing. Somebody said there was a UFO sighting, like, last night. But I don't know where. Somebody has a video of that. Let me know. But I think, yeah, that was, like, a whole thing in itself. Scouted by um, a motorbike. And every time we saw this motorbike, loads of mortars would come in. Yeah, it was supposed to be in New Jersey. Apparently, in New Jersey, there was a UFO sighting. Does anybody know where the UFO sighting was? 
I'm going to Google UFO sighting New Jersey. It was like yesterday. Yeah, it like flashed a light. It flashed a light like your story. What do you mean it flashed a light like my story? The weird for the sub. Oh, yeah, no, the UFO thing. I have the video. It was fake. Oh. Well, if it was fake, that sucks. The weird for the sub. The artillery and the mortars were getting... It was a SpaceX Starlink. Oh. See, I never even saw the video. I just had people tell me there was a UFO. Pretty damn close. And then I got the green light to um, take the target out. I shot, um, missed my first shot, second shot I got him. And then I had to go up to the body to to see if I had, um, if he, he, he was, you know, dead. And I remember walking up to the body, um, the motorbike, the, the throttle was stuck in the sand and the, the bike was revving, had an AK strapped to it. And uh, the guy was on the floor and he, he passed away. Um, he, I'd shot him here. Uh, yeah, weird, weird feeling, weird feeling. You feel like you're in trouble. You feel, I've just killed someone. But people are thanking you, going, oh, yeah, good shot, tapping your shoulder. Wow! You literally kill somebody, and it's not like, it's it's like the opposite of what society would make it seem like. You're like, oh, good shit. Well, it's good shot, good, you know, good mission there, Craig, well done. But you just killed someone. Strange feeling, strange feeling. Snipers work in, in pairs. Yes, they do, yeah. Can you explain that one? You have one and a number two. And number two, he's usually the best sniper because he'll work out all your calculations, he'll work out all the wind, everything you need to know for your scope. And basically then he will tell you to put it in and all you've got to do is pull the trigger. The number one is probably the best shooter. We've got to understand then that sniping is not all about shooting and killing. The first job of a sniper is to gather lifetime information of the battlefield. So I'd look for my scope, I'd see a bloke come out of his compound with his, with a, a lady and um, I would make up a story, say, oh, there's Limpy John with his wife. And it keeps your mind occupied and he goes, oh, let's see what Beryl's doing. And then you go over to Beryl, oh, let's see what Bob's doing. Oh yeah, there's Bob doing the same old thing. It's quite hard really because when you do get to take the target out, you're killing Bob. You know, and you've made a name up for him for the last four days. Oh, they watch him for four fucking days? You know, but that's the sort of thing you need to mentally nah. switch off. Nah. Until they kill him? Bro's hard scoping? <laughs> oh my god, hard scoping to the extreme, man. Jesus Christ, four days to take the shot? Call of Duty quick scoping is so much different. Let's go through some of the other missions you were on. Are there any Cooler for the sub. One mission, we were in Basra Palace, and we got called to this place called the P-Jock, and the P-Jock basically is just run by 15 people. That's it. And it's next to a prison. And it used to get smashed every single night from 11 o'clock at night till 5 in the morning. It is the gates of hell. The gates of hell and they're trying to release all these insurgents, all these other hierarchy um, Taliban from this prison. And it was our job to not let them do that. We were on the roof on this occasion, and they came from north, they came from the south, they came from the east, they came from the west, they came from everywhere. And um, we got absolutely I'm gonna say it, we got absolutely f***ing smashed. We thought we were gonna get overrun. So I phoned Tanya. I get a bit upset, you know, sorry. Um, I phoned her and she answered. Oh, he called his wife? Oh my God, dude. Would you call your, if you're getting, if you're getting overrun in a military situation and you know you're gonna die, are you calling a loved one? And um, and I said to her, I love you, you know. And then she goes, I oh, know. She, she goes, what's all that noise? And I said, that's nothing, that's nothing. Why wouldn't you? 
Well, because it's going to make them sad, right? Like, if you're in a debt, like, if you're going to die on the battlefield, it makes sense to call them, but it's also like, like, dude, then you're like, like, what if you die on the phone? Just want to hear a voice, you know? Just want to hear a voice. And we went back on the roof and, yeah, we were in the fight. It was like a wall got shattered. And when that wall of ice got shattered, everything that I've experienced in my tours uh, through Bosnia, Kosovo, um, Iraq, Afghan, I couldn't, I couldn't stop it. My wife noticed it first. She noticed there was something wrong due to my isolation, my snappiness, just depression really, and suicidal thoughts. I'm not gonna lie, I will cry later. Because a lot of memories come up, you know, a lot of thoughts. I don't, I don't disguise it, you know. I'm a big advocate for PTSD, but I find I'm ashamed to have PTSD, and I, I, I'm the first one to admit it. It ruins your sex life. It ruins ruins your friends because no one wants to be around you because you're just miserable. Damn, dude. This fucking sucks. Somebody ban this fucking kid's mod, please. This kid's just fucking spam typing. We're watching a genuine video here. This kid's being a fucking douchebag. Get the fuck out of here. You don't want to go out? Because you get so fucking angry so quick. Joe, don't call me weird, but one day I was really pissed, so I went into my garage with a real frog, and I threw him on the ground full power. Yeah, you just killed an animal. Why did you do that? The army noticed it, and I got called into the MO's office, which is the medical officer's office. From doing 20-odd years, it took half an hour for me to get kicked out. Yeah, I, I, I'll say it. My, my um, wife, we went to America. Um, stayed there for a bit. And um, my wife went back to England to see her mum. And I... Uh, yeah, I nearly shot myself. Wow. I took all the rounds out of the gun when I was practicing where to do it, where I would do it. And um, I put the bullet in, cocked it, put it in my mouth, and Betsy was sat on the back of the sofa. She's um, a little Yorkshire Terrier. She saved my life. Damn, this is gonna make me this is gonna make me sad, bro. This is gonna make me sad. This is gonna make me sad. Oh my god. I wouldn't be here now. I was sat talking to you guys or on this planet if it wasn't for my wife and my dog. Wow. No fucking way. I would have checked out. Yeah. Your dog really does. Like, it, even in, like, smaller scenarios, not stuff like this, a dog or a pet in general does help. Like, there's been days where I've been, like, genuinely, like, upset or, like, mad or just a shitty day. And then your dog just, like, runs up to you, starts fucking licking you and all this other shit. Like, it, it helps. He has survivor guilt. He was the only sniper who made it out alive. See, that's, like, that's so ass. Well, I mean, it's good that he lived. But I can understand, like, what he was saying. All of his cumulative missions together is just, like, it, 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 it fucks with his head. <sighs> you missed my bits from, like, an hour ago. Can you read them? E yeah, hold up. You said you would watch this video from Vlog Creations. You promised you would watch this newest video from Vlog Creations. Um, yeah, but now... Oh, fuck. Okay, hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I'll watch the newest video from Vlog Creations, but uh, I gotta get rid of that other video. Hold up. All right, we'll replace. We'll do the Mark Rober video another day, but I will watch. We'll watch this video. Making making my oven freeze things, then hiring a repairman to fix it. We'll watch that today, but not right now. I gotta finish this. Gosher for the sub. Lightning for the sub. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard. Oh, somebody redeems. I want the Mark Rober video. We'll watch it fucking soon, dude. My God. Is it the Mark Rober video or the vlog creations video? Because I can't watch both. They're like fucking 20 minutes long. 
you were sentenced to manslaughter. Do you yeah. want to talk to us a little bit about what happened there? That was a bad one. You know, that's the only thing I've got on my conscience that I have to live with. That is the hardest thing I have to live with. Someone choked on a gag on a, on a bit of work, you know, and, and they choked on it on me. And Do you want to explain what that uh, is? It, it's a bad place for me, you know. Like we've done a hundred times. You tie them up, you gag them, yeah? You go, the police come, untie them, boom. If I could undo that one, just that one, that would be the only thing in my life I would undo. Really? Every single thing he's done, he would only undo the time somebody died by choking on their own vomit. The, the death of that. Yo, mods, can you run a poll, please? Are there even mods in chat? There are four mods in chat, please. That your hand could have caused you so much kind of mental pain. Mike for the sub. Because it should never have happened. I'll run the poll. I'll run the poll. I'll run the poll. Both will be watched at some point. Which today? The Mark Rober video or the vlog creations? I did promise the vlog creations video today. I did promise the vlog creations video today. So this poll really kind of doesn't even matter because I did promise the vlog creations vid. And even to this day, I have to live with it. I've done an innocent. And you don't do that anymore. Are any of my mods here? If my mods are here, type one. If you're a mod and you're here, I feel like no one's here. I swear to God, I feel like no one's here. Like, I'm about to start modding more people soon. I swear to God. I, like, uh, not you, chat. Oh, my God. My chat's typing one. I said mods. I said mods, chat. I said mods. You're all typing one. I said mods, not you. Oh, my God. Mods. People with the green fucking sword. I just got here. Cloak is the only one here. There is no shot. Cloak, can you please get me that Disney sniffer video by the end of the day? I got to upload that. Look, you don't do innocence. And, uh, no, that one I feel terrible about. But when I go to church, because I'm Catholic, I believe in, in that sort of thing. Already sent it, I would it, like though. a candle for that person. Like I do my Oh, mom. you sent it, but did you send it with the, the copyright music change? Miles for the Thunder Bets. I'd be, I would love to be a mod, JoJo. I'm not doing, I'm not modding people today. It's just like, no, there's literally no mods here. Or there's mods in chat, but they're not typing. Mum and dad and my daughter who died, you know? I light candles for them. It's a respect thing, and I say a prayer for them, you know? Do you have any regrets about what you did? No, I don't, you know? Because I believe what I done was right. From my heart. I've looked at it in my head time and time and time and time and time again, over and over and over again. Am I wrong? Am I right? And I feel like, I don't know, I feel like, yeah, I'm kind of right. There's one less rapist on the earth, and that's got to be a good thing. Well, yeah, he's had to have a shitload of time to think about it, bro. He served, what, like 12 years in prison? Do you think it's the right thing to take power in your own hands in this sense, or do you think we should aim at the police to address this thing. The police officer got raped and um, um, raped and murdered a girl the other day. So how can you go to the police? A police officer was convicted for raping and killing a, a girl the other day, right? So where are we going with this? The police are doing the same thing. So how can you go to the police? Damn. How can girls go to the police? They're going to go to their boyfriends. They're going to go to their friends. They're going to go to their brothers. They're going to go to their dads. You're going to go to somebody that's probably going to do something about it straight away and not be like, um, we're going to investigate and give you a crime number and get back to you. And you, you're you scared to go to the shops now. You can't go out your house. Scared. How much women out there are being raped and violated and, 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 and kids are being violated and by paedophiles and that. Ask them how they feel about people like that, whether we should take the law into our own hands and um, sometimes dish out our own justice. If it's a monster, then, you know, I'm not really haunted by that. Like. Yeah, I don't think he's bad. Like, chat, do you think he's a bad per I don't even, he didn't even intend to kill the guy, did he? Do you think he's a, even if he did, like, he's running the shit in his head. I don't think he's, like, I don't think what he did was necessarily, yeah, exactly. Like, I, yeah. It's just, I don't, he's damn right. I'm surprised my dad isn't doing time right now. Your dad isn't doing time right now. For what? Yeah, no. I don't think he... I don't... I do, Are any of the people here bad? Maybe the gangster guy. Maybe, 
Maybe the old guy. Maybe the old guy. Maybe the old guy. I don't know about the old dude. The old dude... The old dude is good for, like, doing some things, but, like, the old dude also, like, like tortures people. <laughs> like, torture people for money and shit. I don't know. I don't know. The old guy's the one that's up in the air. The 80-year-old king guy. The kingsman. Yeah. That one. That one's up in the air. No. Would you... Would you do the same thing for your friend, for your mom, for your sister, for your brother? I don't know. I mean, she makes us question our own selves. Sneeko reacted to your reaction of him? No, he didn't, bro. I haven't even... I'm streaming. Is he live? I just did that fucking 30 minutes ago. And even, like... And even... No, he didn't. Did he actually? All right, we're done with that video, too. We're done with that video. It goes to the end. Did he actually react to it? No, he didn't, bro. Stop. There's no shot he already did. Cops called. No, he, street he, just, he was just live with Salim. Over uh, able to accept. Yeah, he was just live with Salim themselves easier because i was out and risky bro like i'll go in and i'll be like hey dude all right what video are we are we doing the mark rover video i'm gonna do the vlog creations video one day i'm gonna do the mark rover one no i'll do the mark rover one tomorrow bro or not tomorrow i'll do the mark rover one next reaction i did promise i i was go i chat i promised i was gonna do this one i promise i was are y'all fine with this video everybody's asking mark rover okay fine we'll do mark rover I'm I'm watching the other one, the the vlog. Oh, fuck. We'll watch both. We'll watch both. Can we watch both? Can we just watch both? I'll move another video. I'll move the Shrek Fest video. We'll watch the fucking Shrek Fest video a, a different day. I'll move that one. Obviously, I'll move that one. We'll move those videos. We'll move those videos. The Shrek Fest video will will be moved. How about that? Is that fine? We'll watch both of them, and I'll move the Shrek Fest in another video. Because the Mark Rober video and the other video combined are like fucking 45 minutes. All right. Bro. Bro! Barbecue boy for the fucking 25 gifteds, dude. Holy shit. My God. How many subs is that today? Fucking 70? Jesus Christ. Fucking 70 subs today, dude. How many subs do I even have? 153 today? Oh my god. Barbecue boy for the fucking 25 gifteds. Actual dub in the chat. We'll watch both the vlog creations and the fucking... We'll watch the Mark Rober one first. Then we'll watch the vlog creations one. Then we have how dementia villages work. And then a horror story one that we might watch, might not watch. We're probably not going to watch that. We'll do that on scary video day. We're going to do the scary video day another day. All right, so we got three videos left, but one of them's long as fuck. Dump for the sub. Barbecue boy for the fucking 25 gifteds. Actual dub. Thank you. This is me entering... Oh, beating five scam arcades with science. By Mark Rober. Everybody remembers the last Mark Rober video I watched. An arcade wearing just your normal everyday backpack. Only technically it's not your normal everyday backpack because when I set it here and then nonchalantly load a few balls into the water bottle, then it plays the game like a good robot should and I win all the tickets. And that's pretty cool, but what if I- Or, 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 you grab a ball, you walk to the side, and then you just, you just throw it in there, right? But some arcades have gotten smart. This is what I used to do when I was a kid, right? You would walk over and you would just throw the ball into the 10,000 one, like, standing right next to it. Some arcades have a cage that goes over it, so you can't do that. Or glass. Oh, this one does have glass. I see it. I see it. This one has glass. I just saw that. I just peeped that. Most of them have cages. This one has glass. So this really is, this is actually a high IQ play. But I feel like foosball also isn't the best way to make tickets in an arcade anyway. If I told you I made similar backpacks, not just for ski ball, but for the- I watched this entire video on his Snapchat story. You watched a fucking 20 minute video vertically on Snapchat with ads every fucking 10 seconds. Some kid just says, I'm so bored.
He's been following me for 29 minutes. Then leave the stream, buddy. You're not forced to be here, pal. Little news flash. This game and this one basically coming up with contraptions to absolutely dominate five of the most common arcade games, including some hacks that cost less than a dollar and actually work to set world record ticket payouts. But we also secretly recorded data from a bunch of different arcades. So I'll teach you the strategies to beat the games that give out the most tickets, along with showing you the five games we discovered. This one's such a scam. That one is such a fucking scam. I'll teach you the strategies to beat the games that give out the most tickets. Along with that one's a fuck, dude. When you go on this one, when you go on this one, have you all ever played this fucking game? When you get to the last one, it does like a frame glitch over your fucking uh your stack. It it doesn't. You literally like can't get it unless you time it like .01 seconds perfectly. Show you the five games we discovered are actual scams. And that one. And that one. And that dumbass key one. Because that, that one's the most enticing. You, all you have to do is get the key to go in the slot. But here's the big fucking catch. You're never going to get it. Why do you think they have fucking thousand dollar prizes? They have like an iPad Pro. Jordans. Like uh, an iPhone. AirPods. Beats. They have all those in that fucking thing. You're never going to get it. Never going to get it. Unfortunate for the 300 bits. Read my messages. I suggested... The video of vlog creations on Friday, but I also think this video, I can't see a URL that you're going to type, nor am I going to click it, because that's sketch. Submit it in the Discord if you want me to watch a video. Unfortunate luck. That's how everybody does it. It's a much better video. It's only a small portion of the video. It has a timestamp. I can't, I, I can't click on the URL. Even if, it, if, even if I could, I wouldn't. Submit it in the Discord, okay? Um, the, if you want me to watch a different vlog creations video, then tell me now. Unfortunate, because I promised you I would watch this video, and if you don't want me to watch this video, I'm not going to watch this fucking video. Because you're getting one vlog creations video, because to be honest, I'm probably going to get bored of this video. <laughs> Just be spaghetti -o launcher, like, I don't even know what's happening. Maybe, I, I might like it, I don't know. One Riddler for the 300 bits. You mean ski ball? Oh, uh, what did I say? Foosball? Don't ever step foot in another arcade again until you've watched this video in its entirety. Let's I will watch it, though. I'll watch a vlog creations video. You got to tell me which one. But you can't send me a link. It's not going to work. It started. Vlog creations is boring after Cole left. I don't, I've never even seen them, so I don't know who Cole is. Now, admittedly, the genesis for this video came when I was using my over-engineered bowling ball that I could control just by leaning. Because I thought, what if I took that same concept and applied it to mini golf? And while that idea could be really useful for getting a good golf score... There's just no real payoff for my efforts. Which focused my attention to the holy grail of any mini golf course, the arcade. It was time to recoup all the allowance money I've lost as a kid, starting first with skee ball. And before we really see it in action, let me first explain how it works. You know the biggest scam ever is Chucky fucking cheese, dude. At Dave and Buster's and all those other places, you get you get tickets based off performance. At fucking Chuck E. Cheese, they're the start of arcades falling off. Because it, I, I used to go to Chuck E. Cheese all the fucking time. And no matter what score you got, you got the same amount of damn tickets, bro. It was such a fucking scam. You go to, I don't know if it's changed now, but when I was a kid and I used to go to Chuck E. Cheese, I could get 100 points or 10,000 points. I'm getting the same fucking 15 tickets out of that goddamn machine. My, key, my cousin won the key machine with his $20 and won $1,000 phone. Won $1,000 phone. Javon for the three. I'm saying most most of them are scams. I don't know which one you went to, but most of them are scams. Because if you take away the backpack, you'll find a Frankenstein version of a softball pitching machine. That because if it wasn't a scam, you would be able to figure it out efficiently and win it every time. It's so random and so unlikely that they have to profit off of the prizes. If, you, if, if that key game where you get like a phone or Jordans or some shit was learnable... It, it it would be insane. That we chopped up and modified so it runs just off batteries. Then there's a solenoid here that makes sure the ski balls get released one at a time. So if you just turn it on, then we put a ball in here, it fires the ball like this. The coolest part here though is when it's placed in the backpack, you roll this pocket up to reveal the ball exit, and then place this water bottle here as a clever disguise to look- Just bring the goddamn machine. Who the fuck's gonna kick you out of the arcade, Mark? No one's going to kick you out of the fucking arcade for doing this. 
up to three balls at a time. Now, of course, if you don't have a secret robot backpack, here's how you win this game as a mere human. For starters, if you watch the pros play, yes, there are ski ball pros. They actually. There's ski ball pros. People that are pros in ski ball. Asian for the 500 bits asks, why did you go into a useless major? I used to be an exercise science student going for physical therapy. I started doing social media and making money on social media. The two options were either A, I'm going to drop out, or B, I'm going to switch my major to something that I enjoy because exercise science takes too much time and I don't like it. So I switched to philosophy. Uh, it's useless in terms of job application in a lot of degrees. You're right. Uh, but with a philosophy degree, you can go into a lot of jobs. For me personally, it's useless because I'm not going to use it in the job field, but um, it still works in basic conversation and just being overall on social media aim for the 4,000 point hole. And this actually makes sense because even if your throw is a little too weak or a little too strong, you're still getting significant points. A common mistake is to take the bait and go all or nothing by aiming for the small 10,000 point hole in the corner. The pros aim for this oh. only a desperate awkward 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 too strong, you're still getting significant points. A common mistake is to take the bait and go all or nothing by aiming for the small 10,000 point hole in the corner. The pros aim for this only- Yeah, when I would play, I would all I would only go for the 5Ks. In desperate situations where they're behind and they need big points to make a comeback for the win. The other big tip is to brace your leg against the base of the machine in the same spot each time. And then try and only move your arm, which will make your throws more repeatable and accurate because you're reducing the variables that could lead to air. So if you want to win, just follow these tips and practice. It's button. fucking ski ball, man. I'm not, I'm not giving a fuck about that. They bring the least amount of tickets, even with the most amount of points. Or you could just go with my route. So then when you're all done dominating, or if you think one of the workers might be getting suspicious, you can just pick up the backpack at any point and walk away with a bunch of tickets on your card. Up next is one of my personal favorites, basketball. In this case, the backpack is being used just to smuggle the special mechanism. Bro bought his own basketball to the fucking arcade. Them inside. Because of the untrained eye, this is just a normal basketball, when in fact, it's a robot in disguise. Now, before I show you exactly how it works, you first. What is it even gonna do? It's just a basketball understand how these games work just underneath each rim is an infrared laser and a detector and then on the front of the rim on the other side of that metal plate is a reflector so when the laser beam shines straight forward it bounces off the reflector and then the sensor's like yep i can see the beam so when a ball goes through the hoop it breaks the beam and the sensor's like aha i didn't see it for a second at which point it tells the game to add two points to your total because that means you must have scored in engineering we call this a beam what how is he gonna scam this how the fuck is he gonna scam this? Brake detector, and it's the exact same concept you have as a safety feature on your garage door. So if you really want to destroy the high score here, the ball needs to break the beam, then somehow get out of the way so the beam reconnects, and then come back and break the beam again, over and over again, as fast as possible. But if you think about it, the whole ball doesn't need to actually get out of the way, just the part in front of the beam itself. And how might you do that? Well, one way is to 3D print the bottom hemisphere of a basketball in two parts, attached together through some linear guide rods, then add a battery, microcontroller, and servo motor so the bottom part of the shell can translate up and down. This way it would reconnect the beam and then break it over and over again and register two points every time that happened. Now you just need a way to grab the rim so you can hang out there while you perform these shenanigans. And if you add some pneumatic pistons... Oh, he's gonna throw the ball into the net and just get it stuck? And then he's gonna have a fucking servo motor? Just go... Why not just get good at the game? <laughs> Why not just get... I feel like I feel like this is not even that efficient. I feel like you could just probably make the amount of baskets in that time. Connected to a mini pressure intake controlled by a solenoid valve triggered by an RF remote. And then you could shoot the ball normally, and then with one push of a button, piston rods would shoot out and grab the rim. And then once mischief was managed, you trigger the remote again, and they would retract. Now if you just add another 3D printed hemisphere on top, then glue on the actual basketball skin, then when you put it all together, it would look something like this. Now if you don't happen to have a robo ball, here's a few tips that will help you get the high score. This kid, I, anybody remember seeing this fucking video, this kid? He like blew up in like during vine ages for like a minute.
how fast he would get this, this shit. Now, the most important thing is you never want to waste time waiting for a ball to roll down to you. And since these games normally come in pairs, just swipe your card on both games and then temporarily borrow the second set of balls. Now, this should give you plenty more than you need, so just keep the balls that are the least inflated. Now, you start the game and get into a rhythm where you finish your shot with one hand and then start grabbing or replacing the ball with your other hand before your first shot has even gone in. Or if the rim is close and you want to get really extreme, you can just go with a two-handed shooting strategy like this guy. But even that strategy is no match for my spherical transformer because when I'm that's ready to not fast though does it that look slow as fuck I just shoot the ball with one hand wait dude Sneeko reacted to you yes but not today he reacted to me yesterday or two days ago and then hit the remote right as it's about to go in and now as the ball just sits there articulating, I simply Oh, that is fast. Okay, now that is kind of fast. Sweet, sweet points rack themselves right on up. And then as soon as time's up, I just hit the remote again, and the piston rods are tracked. And while no one's the wiser, I've now injured my way to a- Well, like, doesn't that, like, doesn't that make arcades, like, not fun? Like, I know, like, I know, like, a lot of the, the reason of a, an arcade is the prize, but, like, playing the game is also what's fun, right? Who cares? It's money. Are you actually profiting, though? Like, is he going to go over how much, like, because if he bought, say, $50 of tickets and then used these scams or these, like, machines to get tickets, would he actually profit in prize money? Like, I don't, I don't know if he would. I just feel like the disconnect of, like, how much a prize actually costs them to give you and then how much money you're spending, even if you're cheating, it's not... I don't know if how much, like, how much you would actually make. ...load of tickets and a new lifetime high score. Next up is a really popular game... I fucking hate this game! This game is so fucking stupid! called quick drop where you hit this button to release these ping pong balls at the right moment and yeah and the only way you get any amount of good tickets is if you get all fucking 50 in like 12 seconds you get all 50 ping pong balls into the buckets within the 22 seconds allotted without yeah it's so any fucking dumb any shots then you hit the mega jackpot but the thing is to get all 50 balls in before the time runs out there's a wow this kid's goddamn awful at that wow 22 seconds allotted without missing any shots then you hit the mega jackpot but the thing is to get all 50 this kid just missed every ball balls in before the time runs out there's essentially they literally didn't make one in that clip no margin for human air which is good news for me because robot backpacks don't make human airs now you notice when i walk up i can just set the backpack down and it self registers right in place the trick here is we 3d printed an exact negative replica of the button housing on the game and this piston rod that pokes through and pushes the button on the game is attached to this solenoid that's controlled by this yeah but don't you have to time the rotations correctly like because it the game starts at, at a different point in the in where the fucking ball is Arduino microcontroller. Or the, the, the cups are. And it tells it the exact timing needed to beat the game. Now, if you're trying this on your own, here's what you need to know. To successfully do this in 22 seconds, you have to drop four balls in each bucket, except in two buckets, you've got to drop five. Now, dropping five into these two buckets isn't impossible, but the timing's so tight, it's really hard to pull off without them hitting the rim and bouncing out. Now the jackpot starts at 500 tickets and every time someone loses it goes up by two tickets and each time that happens the game gives you just a little more total time on the clock. And so if you ever see the jackpot at more than 625 tickets enough time is now on the clock where you only need four balls per bucket to win and it's definitely worth trying it a few times because that makes it so much easier. Then I'll just use my fucking hands Mark. Then I'll just use my fucking hands, Mark. If it's only four balls each one when it's past 600, why do I need a fucking servo motor to tell me how to do this? Pull off. Alternatively, if you're too impatient to wait for the jackpot to rise up, you can just go to school for six years to get a degree in mechanical engineering. Oh! He can do it in the five one as well. I thought his fucking machine only worked for the four. I was going to say, well, then just a human could do it anyway. Cacao for the three. Can you please review this link and give your opinion? No. And do it this way. I literally just said I'm not clicking on a link. No.
And then even as all 554 sweet, delicious tickets are being added to your account, you can just inconspicuously walk away with your backpack in tow. For our next game, we've got the perennial arcade favorite, Air Hockey. Now this is the most complicated of all the builds because if you look closely here at the top, there's a hole in the bag for a camera to look out through. Then stripping away the- Oh, oh my god, it's Air Hockey. Just fuck. You don't even get- Do you even get tickets in Air Hockey chat? It removes the point of playing the game. It removes the point of playing the game. You know, it, it, the point of Air Hockey is person versus person. You don't get tickets. So they're gonna play you when you just have your backpack there? I feel like that could still easily lose. I feel like if you slammed that, that still loses. And then at your own leisure, you can eventually just come back and finish things off. Then with the victory securely in hand, you just disengage the two toggle magnets. I really don't think that one would work in actual game. Cause that guy, that guy was going real slow. If I just fucking whip that shit, your camera's not going fast enough. Twist, and you're good to Stop go. Stop skipping. I didn't want to see how he built that one. Go. And finally, we've got the ultimate test of strength, the punching bag game. Now for this one, to make it more interesting, I wanted to find and challenge the guy in the arcade whose muscles look the least like mine. So I stepped up first and rocked wow. the 678 out of a possible 999. But then he stepped up and rocked an 877. And since that's bigger than 678, the trash talking commenced. Maybe if you spend a little less time at the computer, a little more time in the weight room. He is sweating. This is why I wear tank tops, chat. This man is sweating. Like, actually, holy pit stains. Like, dude, I like I, I would not, dude. I, I get those pit stains when I wear light colored shirts, so I only wear I only wear tank tops or dark colored clothing. <laughs> so that was disappointing, but lucky for me, I had a trick up my sleeve. Like actually, because that's a fake arm. In order to disguise this, that was still a little it's basically a bionic punching arm powered by two spring-loaded pistons. To set the springs, we use a threaded rod and a drill, and once under tension, they're held in place with a quick release mechanism. I Imagine Mark builds this and still fucking loses. Trigger with my finger at the exact moment I want to punch a thing. Why is he sweating so much? I don't know. It's like genetics or some shit. I sweat all the fucking time. Fish for the sub. The weird for the sub. And I would classify the initial test in the lab as... Oh. Encouraging. Now it's important to note to play by the rules for this game, there's no side punching, pushing, running, kicking, or headbutting. But you'll notice there's no rule against spring-loaded... No headbutting? You're not gonna get a good, sto a good score headbutting. Just in punching gloves. So now that my moment of sheer domination had arrived, I stepped up and rocked in 838. You still lost. Which was less than 877, which was disappointing. Dang it! And in hindsight, I should have known it's really hard to compete with the human <laughs> Oh, dude, what the fuck? Human body in terms of yeah, I was expecting like nine, nine, nine punching and throwing because we're just so efficient with those mechanics, and I have to sacrifice a lot of the speed and momentum of my own arm body system when I'm wearing that heavy wrist mounted puncher. But you know what? I'm a fighter, and what I lack in muscle mass, I make up for in tenacity. So out of curiosity, I took a closer look to see how the machine actually works, and it turns out it has a beam brake sensor just like the basketball game. So is that odd shaped metal piece, which is oh, he's just gonna jam some dumb shit up there and it's gonna censor fucking 999 attached to the axle and punching bag rotates around the beam has this tiny window to hit the sensor you can see the sensor in the front view here so the game cleverly measures how many mill stop abusing the man he's a legend no i fucking love mark it's just like this one this one like it, it, like you don't need i dude like these two don't even get you tickets seconds the sensor sees the beam for and from that it infers how quickly the bag is rotating on the axle and therefore how hard it was punched and this gave me an idea so i went to the prize counter and redeemed a few of my jackpot tickets i'd been stocking up in exchange for a pez dispenser step one was to unwrap and eat some of the pez because they're just delicious and then for step two i removed the head and cut the arcade card like this and then taped it not yoda 
left here, and then went and tracked down my new friend. My theory was that if I extended the Pez dispenser and modified card out like this, and then let go, the force of the spring would retract the card, and it would break the beam so fast, the machine would think it was an insanely fast punch. But would it actually work? And it turns out, it absolutely does, because I maxed out the machine. So, uh, yeah. Use this information responsibly, kids. But you just removed the whole purpose of playing the game. It's, it's just punching. Now, a few years ago, I made a video where I visited the carnival and collected data on all the games and then used physics to expose which carnival games were rigged and then showed how to beat them. So this time around, instead of the carnival, I once again bribed some family friends with unlimited Slurpees in exchange for them collecting a bunch of data at some local arcades. And in addition to uncovering which games- Bro sitting at an arcade with a notebook, writing down how many people win. Scams, which I'll cover in just a minute. The biggest scam, bro, that fucking one. Here's what we discovered. For starters, the most popular games in the arcade were the redemption games, as opposed to the experience games. And here's what I mean by that. Redemption games are the games where the goal is to win tickets. So like the coin pushers or this- Oh, dude, only old people at Dave & Buster's play the fucking coin pusher. The coin pusher is actually more of a scam than the other thing. I would rather lose $30 to the fucking weird arm thing trying to get a, a pair of Air Jordans than lose to the fucking coin pusher. The coin pusher, you don't win anything. Like, even if you get a lot of coins, a coin is like one fucking ticket. You have, you get 200 tickets. Oh boy, you could just get that on the fucking Flappy Bird machine. Plinko game or spin the wheel. On the other end of the spectrum, you have experience games like air hockey, skee ball, or racing games. It's a trade off because the games on this side of the spectrum give out more tickets, but it's not as much about the fun of the experience. And then in the middle of the spectrum, you have games like the ping pong drop or hit the clown that have middle of the road ticket payouts, but they're also middle of the road fun to play. Now, that since game. the games on this side were a lot more popular, they earn a lot more money for the arcade, even when you factor in the higher ticket payouts. We found that for a medium-sized arcade on a busy day, the less popular games were played 25 times, and the more popular ones could be played up to 250 times or more. At an average gameplay of $1, that means each game makes $25 to $250 per day, or about seven to $70,000 per year. And I might need to get into arcade business. I might need to get into an only coin pusher business. Should I do that? I have an R. I have a Dave and Buster's, but instead of any, there's only coin pusher games. It's literally just the coin pushers, the games that make so much money. And finally, we found that if your sole goal was to win tickets, coin pusher games like this Avengers one seem to be the best return on investment. But honestly, you can just ask one of the workers there who are hanging out making minimum wage and are probably pretty chill, because chances are they'll just tell you which ones they regularly see pay out the best. All right, so finally, let's get to the- He just said the coin pushers pay the most. How the fuck do the coin pushers pay the most? Whenever I play a coin pusher, that's such cap. I feel like it pays the most if you have a lot of coins that are about to fall. Real juicy part and talk about which games we When I retire from social media, open up an arcade instead of a restaurant. I'm not going to open up a restaurant. I said I was going to open some other shit. Not a fucking restaurant. God damn. Fish for the sub discovered were basically scams. Now, I actually have some experience in this area because a few years back, I built my original backpack pops and jackpot is your single a jackpot should be won. So this time around, I was curious what other games were essentially running the same scam where you think it's a game of skill, but in reality, the arcade owner is controlling when a jackpot's won. And as it turns out, this really popular game called Stacker employs the same trick. I fucking said it. I fucking said it. It makes you play like 45 fucking times just to win. Fucking shit. I don't even play this game anymore. Like, like, I've been, like, dude, the last four times I went to Dave & Buster's, I didn't even touch this game. Because I know it's a fucking scam. This other really popular game, Keymaster, and this Cut the Rope game are also, in fact, running the same scam. In all three cases, I was able to get a hold of a copy of their owner's manual, and each one has some language around how the arcade owner can specify how often a jackpot occurs. I also found many, but not all, claw machines have language around how it will close with full strength, but then back off to a much weaker strength of- Yeah! I hate claw games. I fucking hate claw games. Dude, it's it's like it's it's like it's like the the weakest human ever is just fucking grabbing it 
Like, just fucking, it's metal arms. Yet, it, it's like one pound of force to fucking grab the stuffed animal. Just fucking grab it. Whatever is set by the owner. For this reason, it's best to try for prizes closest to the exit hole to minimize the amount of time it's held in the claws. And I call these games scams because they present themselves as winnable games of skill, when in reality, it's essentially a random dice roll that is heavily stacked against you. And just like at the carnival, the most lucrative games are those where people overestimate their chances of winning because they seem to get close, ah! but they don't quite win. In ah! Gambling psychology, this is known as the near miss effect, and it will lead to increased play of the slot machine. But this is much worse than a slot machine, because at least in that case, you know it doesn't matter how you pull the lever because it's random chance. And on top of that, those games are regulated, so there is a minimum payout required by law. So for every dollar, for example, put into a slot machine, they have to pay out at least 80 cents back to the players. But for those scam arcade games I just mentioned, the default payout rate is on average 20 cents for every dollar you spend. But a so slot machines are less of a scam than an arcade fucking claw machine. Statistically. You, if, if you put the same amount of money into both, you would lose more money in a fucking ar an arcade machine. Shady arcade owner could basically set that to zero and no one would know and that would be perfectly legal And that's especially messed up because it's primarily played by kids So if you remember nothing else just try and pick games that avoid any sort of digital winning element that can be rigged Because in those cases you just never really know what your chances are These games however are all great options to at least have a better sense of your actual odds of winning I've checked the manual for all of these and what you see is exactly what you get And I can vouch Well the fish spin one is just ass some arcades are more fair about this AC than for the sub loot and 9 for the sub. Here refuses to carry any of the games that can be rigged against you, which I think is pretty cool. However, if they happen to see this, my only suggestion is that moving forward, they should probably institute a no backpacks allowed policy. And perhaps also don't let people redeem tickets for Pez dispensers. This is a dad finder. It was made by a Oh, this is not uh, this uh, that was the end of the video. That's something else. All right. Next, two more vids. Making my oven freeze things and hiring a repairman to fix it. I gotta piss before we start this. Should I play a video or should I play a, a, a fucking song? Let's play a funk song. Haven't played funk music in a bit. It's a good funk song. Count me down 30 seconds. I'll be back. Yo, Sneeko DM'd me. Sneeko DM'd me. It was actually a decently nice message, too. Hold on. Oh. He did. He said, Sneeko DM'd me. He said, yo, I definitely took your videos too personally looking back at it. I think I got clouded because I've been seeing so many hate videos recently. Don't think you're a bad guy. That was nice. That was nice. That was a nice message. You're chilling, bro. I react to a lot of vids and just give my opinion i agree with some stuff disagree with others not just for hopping on a hate train or something else that was a dub that was a dub that he that was a dub that he did that w uh w's i agree with some stuff disagree with others not just for hopping on a hate train or something i do it with a shitload of vids my followers send me not just political shit or something my b i'm gonna say my b for relating you to tate 
the main center of the vid wasn't that, but I did say that you are right. That was a dub. That was a dub. That was a dub. That was a dub. That was nice. That was nice of him. That was nice of him to to respond like that. All right. Um, because like I was I wasn't really like hating like that though. I don't know. I don't know. Like it 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 wasn't like that. So so it's me. All right. Next video. We'll move on. We'll move on. That was a dub. I mean, I'm still going to react to some of Sneeko's shit. And I mean, he might react to some of mine. I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to make me react. I, like, that would just be dumb to make the video of me reacting to him, reacting to me, reacting to him, reacting to a video into a video. Because that would be like a quadruple inception. Like, I'm not going to do that. But, um, nah, I just reacted. I reacted to his video about me. Because I just wanted to talk about it. But nah, he, like, he ain't, I, I don't think he's a bad guy. I don't hate him. It's just like I disagree with some of the shit that he says. Alright, making my oven freeze things and hiring a repairman to fix it. No way, we came around to this side to, and it says entrance on the other side. I should have followed you guys. Of course you know where you're going. Wait, uh, should I, I watched your vid on my stream about me. Basically just gave my points. Still disagreed, but voiced specifically, I ain't hate you or anything. Just giving my opinion compared to yours. I don't dislike you as an individual. I did agree with some shit. But dub though, thanks for DMing me. All right, that was good that he DM'd me though. He, that was good. That was that was a good that was a good thing that he did there. Uh, yo, I definitely took your video too personally. Looking back, and I think I got cloud because I've seen so many videos. I just sent him like a little paragraph, basically explaining like, yeah, I reacted to you, all that shit. And we chill for sure. Like. When I post you or your vids ain't against you, more what you say as a means of conversation. You gotta post it now. What you say as a means of conversation for my vid or what I'm talking with my chat about. Nah, I don't even need to say that. I've already said so many fucking things. Alright. Next. You gotta chill, that's a lot. Yeah, nah, I type too much. Making my, uh, should we watch this chat? Do we watch this video? Do we watch this video? Yes, I agreed to watch it. I gotta watch it. We got two videos left. We got two videos left. Yeah, we got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. Um, the only other, the only other Sneeko, like, I mean, I'll react to Sneeko in the future, too. I mean, like, if he just has videos, but the only real thing of Sneeko's that I'm probably gonna, the only other video of his that I would make into a YouTube video is the video of him talking about, like, school. Because I, like, I reacted to his video about that, but I don't even, he doesn't even really say that much in the video. It's me more so reacting to the actual video itself. That's embarrassing. Oh, you guys didn't tell me I'm actually retired. <laughs> this is the entrance right here. After me. Hi, <laughs> done. There's so many people working here. Hi. Okay, so you can get a single four-pack Sixer party box. What is this, chat? Cookie tour, SpaghettiO launcher. Let's just get into the video. Labels on everything, and they always ask why. Because I don't know what these things are inside of it. Waters and plastic. Like, I wouldn't know what this is unless I read what's on the front. All right, guys, today I have this, my oven here that I bought on Greg's List recently. And it's not working properly every time I turn it on. Start, instead of heating things up, it Get some really cold. I don't know exactly what's... So we gotta get that looked at. We have Rob in this room right here. How the hell did he make that? How the hell did he make that though?
<laughs> well, he has a monitor he'll be waiting and watching for the right time to press the button and release the Ice Age. And so I'm going to just play play dumb like I don't know what happened. I just bought it. Wait, isn't this the dude that put beans in his in his gas tank? He did. I saw that video. He put there's a video of him. He put beans in he filled his gas tank with like spaghettio or like beans or some shit. And then he went to like a mechanic and they just started like shaking it and they were like, What the fuck? Recently and I don't know, I just need to fix. I've never seen one that does this. The repairman's gonna be here soon. Yeah, and it was in a Tesla. It was like a ta it was like he had like a Tesla that had the gas tank or some shit. Who is it? Hi, I want to find out. Is this? Uh huh. Uh, here for the stew. Oh, yeah. Come on. Okay. This is uh. Oh. To fix it. I must be at the wrong house. This isn't Batty then. No, yeah, that's my name. He said it was the stove. Yeah, the stove is not getting staying cold or uh, getting hot. Okay. No, this one. This one. Yeah. Okay. Why is yeah. he staring at the fridge? Yeah. Hi, who is it? Hello, I'm a repair guy for. Also, yeah, why does his door open outward? Does y'all's door open outward or inward? Like front, I well, I mean, it depends on the room in the house, but like an outside door, I feel like always opens inward. Yeah. Uh, Owen. Yeah. Uh, um, I bought it recently on Greg's list, and I put in uh, some codes. Wait, why is there a different fucking repairman now? Is this a different guy? What the fuck? Hi, who is it? Hello, I'm a repair guy for uh, Owen. Yeah. Uh, um. I bought it recently on Greg's list, and I put in uh, some codes and stuff. And what's code? Um, I just pressed on these One. Um, on the button, some of the like a cheat code. Oh, Sneeko not said going to Romania, but let's chat on stream when I get back. Would you guys want me to hop on a call with Sneeko one day? I'd be down to hop on a call, discuss shit, share opinions, debate, whatever. Ain't gonna be like. Whatever. What would we even talk about? I would do that. I'd be down to hop on a call, discuss shit, share opinions, debate, whatever. Like I said, I... I just like debating, reacting, etc. What should I say? I don't know what I say. Like, I, I'm, I want to say yes, but I want to give more substance than yes. <laughs> like, you know what I mean when you're trying to think of what you should say to somebody? I'd be down to hop on a call, discuss shit, share opinions, debate, whatever. Like, I don't know what I should say. <laughs> Just say yes. I'd be like, yeah, share opinions, debate, whatever. I'm down. I'm just going to say I'm down. I'm going to say I'm down. I'm going to say I'd be down to hop on a call, discuss shit, share opinions, debate, whatever. I'm down. For sure. Just let me know. No, I'd be down. I'd be down. All right. You thinking too hard about this? Shut up! You look like... Whoa. 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 Talk about women? Well, I mean, yeah. If me and him hop on a call, we're probably going to talk about, like, women, politics, school, stuff like that. Just because, like, the shit that I reacted to, like, him thinking school's useless, shit like that. Like, I don't know. I, it'll probably get into, like, a basic debate-esque thing, but, like, I'm not gonna, like, start screaming at him or some shit. Where I don't plan on starting screaming at him or some shit. It would be, like, a normal thing. Yeah, he liked the message. That will be a dub. Big dub. Alright. Continuing. Add Brooke to the call? Absolutely not. My girlfriend... <laughs> I, yo, my, I love my girlfriend. I'm a liberal. My girlfriend's... Uh, very liberal. Like, my girlfriend's, like, like she will, like, not... Like, I'll hear out people on, like, what they'll think. Like, my girlfriend will be like, yeah, nah. Like, oh, like, nah. Like, like, I don't know how to explain it. You know when somebody's, like, very, like, very opinionated? Like, I'm opinionated, but, like, I've learned to, like... 
I'm going to be wrong sometimes. Uh, or not be wrong, but, like, I learned that, like, other people are going to have other opinions than me, and I just got to fucking deal with it. Whereas, like, I feel like Brooke would not be able to have, like, a peaceful conversation with someone that's, like, just genuinely, like, you know, if because I can talk to somebody that has exact opposite opinions of me and just be like, yeah, but, like, Brooke would be like, what the fuck? Like, like the reaction would be more, you know what I mean? I feel like I was like that, but now I've been doing it so long, it's just like, whatever. And I, I just have friends all over the political spectrum, so I don't really care. And I doubt I doubt me and Sneeko are even going to talk about politics because I've never reacted to anything he said politically. It'll just be just stuff that kind of coincides coincidentally with political views. Shrexy for the sub. W. Brooke. Brooke's going to pull out the AK. No, she wouldn't. Not getting hot. Uh, if I press Why did he put the banana... What the that. fuck? That's what it does. Wow. And then it's just, it's cold in here and not hot. That's great. <laughs> so when I put this in, and then if I can put the, put on the bake, and watch. What would you guys do if you were a fucking stove repairman? If I walked in and it was fucking freezing shit, I would be like, bro, what? I would have to, like, call a supervisor. I would be like, this has never happened in my experience of fixing stoves. How does it reverse and become cold? And now yeah, I would just say get a new stove. I'd be like, it's over for this, man. I don't know what's wrong. And feel. This is... <sighs> Burry. Try to go on the motherboard computer. If I can try to put stuff in it, this is the only thing that will be hot still. So. Yeah, that's okay. I'll, I'll just take the top off and see what we're going on. You can see it? You can see it? Yeah. What did you do? Did you do 2,000 or 3,000? 200. Why did he put a candle in it? Yeah, it's not on. Right. Even it makes a hot thing is not hot. He filled his PC with beans. Do y'all want to see that one? Log Creations PC. Dude, I want to see that. Him filling a fucking computer with beans and then trying to get somebody to fix it. That's fucking hilarious. I filled my PC with ve with beans. We're filling up this computer with beans. We call the repairman to come and fix it. Oh, that's a lot of right? That freaking mosquito, dude. I'm gonna murder its family. First, I'm gonna capture it, tie it to a little chair, burn the family's house down with them in it while that mosquito sits outside. Do you think that's an expensive computer? That shit's fucking ruined. That's like, a, that looks like a, no, that's a shitty HP. That's probably like a hundred dollar computer. Tie to the chair, watching. That's what you get for sucking my blood, mosquito. Excuse me, mosquito. Can I go to the bathroom, mosquito? <laughs> All right, this is the last can. Look at this mountain of beans. It's getting totally fried. <laughs> oh, it's upside down, dude. That's why. It smells like a capsule. Ooh! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Why did I jump? Why did I jump? Oh, it's done. I cannot wait for him to get here. I'm so excited. And I'm gonna play like as stupid as possible. <laughs> There's beans in your computer. Really? I, I, I would have no idea. Who is it? It's I just spoke with you. Hey, the guy my brother called to fix the computer. Yes. Why does he always change personas? Have you noticed that, chat? He, like, slouches over and he's like, talks different. I am for the sub. Samuel for the 300 best. Watch the video returning my icebox with a body inside. I'll watch that after this, because these are like little clips almost. It was working, it works good, and then, you know. And then two... it goes to the blue screen. 
Right. When it's on and it's working, you can do whatever you want to do until the blue screen comes on. Is that what happens? Right. It turns on some, most of the time and then... Oh, he's maybe... really going to open up that PC and beans are going to go fucking everywhere. Five or ten minutes in and it'll go just turn blue. I, did I speak to you on the phone or did I speak to... My someone? brother. Okay. He said you had like files that are important on here. Well, I mainly use it for video games. So is, can we turn it on? Dude, do you yeah. see how he slouched over? I think he's trying to act dumb. Uh-huh. Oh, it's up here. Mm -hmm. He said it's Windows 7. Uh -huh. um, Windows 7 has been, Microsoft no longer supports it. So what happens... I don't usually have more than three Windows up at a time, so that shouldn't be an issue. Well, see, it actually is an issue within Windows 7. But maybe max, I would have like five Windows open. Coming never, out. never. He's talking about fucking Windows itself. Or six or seven. Oh, nah. It was, came on this morning and then it turned blue and then it turned off again. Okay. Right. Oh, the, did that come out? What in my head? It must have. How'd that come out? I don't know. They don't just fall out. I tried pressing some of the buttons on the back. But the computer's not even turning on, and it's plugged in. Uh huh. It comes. It came. Uh, it comes on and sometimes and then just turns off and then sometimes it doesn't come on. Okay. Um. It sounds to me like a power supply unit might have gone bad. Which I, don't, is very... I don't know what that one is. Chef for the five gifted. Yes. I'm gonna Thank you for the fucking subs. Him, Dude, I need to see him so open this. I need on. to see him open this. I'm gonna tell him that you're fi working on it and telling me the power supply. Okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. There's fucking beans everywhere. Chef for the five gifteds, bro. Dub, dub for that. Dub for that. Dude. Power, I, yeah, he say it's a power. Wait, 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 come here for a minute. He said it's power. Dude, huh. have you ever opened this computer up before? No. I'm gonna open it up and show you something I've never seen before in my life. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? What is all this? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, this is actually fucking hilarious. This is not supposed to be inside a computer. This is beans inside. What do you mean? Is Where that... did you get this computer from? God, for me on Craigslist. I use it a lot. Holy. I never had an issue. None of this, these black things, all these, this is like food. It's not like to help the computer Absolutely. stay cool no, or anything. No, 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 no. Someone sold you something with a bunch of beans in it. These are black beans. This is what you get at a Mexican restaurant. And that's not good to, for the computer? Uh, no. I, I have never in my life seen anything like this before. I am shocked. It's He's gonna take a picture of it. Board, a couple of little pieces of electronics. This is the power supply unit. Uh, what's under these? Uh, that's the motherboard, and actually. These are the motherboards. No, no, no. You, you all of this stuff you're seeing, this pile of. These are the motherboards. No, this is food. <laughs> this is... <laughs> He's getting fucking mad. He's getting fucking mad. It's beans. Someone put beans inside the computer. This should all. None of this should be in here. I'm gonna show you a picture of a normal computer. Oh, no. So I have to, I have to get one without the beans. <laughs> yeah. We'll be able to work today. No. Will I be able to no, get I it to work? So. This is food. This is like someone took their dinner and threw it inside the computer. But I don't see the motherboards in there, like it's it, flat. in here. It's flat. You see the wire going into it. But where are all the motherboards? Like there are a lot of motherboards here, but I don't see any of the motherboards in here. Yeah. Well, those are not wow. motherboards. That's food. Oh. You need to turn this and shake all of this brown shit out of here. It's not supposed to be in there. No. Does he ever like tell them on anymore. camera? All right, yeah. Well, I owe you for it. Oh, nothing. I was nearby anyway. All right? All right. When we told him it was a joke, he didn't like it anymore. And so that's why we blurred his face the whole time. Figured I'd tell you because some people are confused as to why people's faces are blurred. Oh, so. he got mad. Oh, he got fucking mad. Rickle for the 300 bits. I was thinking of going back to college to study philosophy. Do you think it's worth it? Sorry for interrupting the video. Just need some advice. What are you going to use it for? Study it for what? If you have the money to just learn, yeah. But if you're doing it for a specific purpose to get a job, like what is it for? That would kind of help me answer it or answer your question. Uh, all right. What was the last one? The ice box thing. And then we'll watch the Dementia Villages video. Returning a freezer with a body in it. Bro.
a, a special effects artist come and freeze him. Okay, so we're gonna put Rob in the freezer. We're gonna hire a freezer repairman to come and <laughs> and work on it because it's just not like staying cold enough. And Rob is our freezer. Bro, do you think that would like shock someone like mentally? Like, do you think? How long ago was this? This was so recent. A repairman who we already had a, pre a freezer repairman come out, but he couldn't fix it or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> and it'll just be frozen in there like you, <laughs> like you fell in. So when the, <laughs> when the repairman finally opens it, it'll go. <laughs> <laughs> that I wouldn't believe that though. <laughs> freezer repair. <laughs> he's, I'm gonna be my character Tom Furman. So he's like, yeah, I don't know. We had a guy come out, and like I was, I don't think he could. <laughs> you lock me in a box full of a bunch of chemicals. <laughs> It's over here. We had a freezer guy come out a, a couple of days ago, and I don't think he could fix it. The problem is that I think it wouldn't stay cold and be cold. It get a little cold, and then it's not be as cold. And so he worked on it, and then I don't. His car's still here. I don't know where he went. Is this freezer? No, not this one. <laughs> Let me get the manual for it. No. Oh, my, uh, I'll be back. I'm gonna grab the. The book thing? I'll just get the book real quick. This freezer guy came the other day and he was supposed to fix it. And I don't think he could fix it. I read it through this and I couldn't fix it. And I These videos make me cringe. I feel bad for the repair man. Yeah, but like, do you think they pay them? Like, if I, like, I would pay this guy, like, fucking $300, like, after this. I would be like, bro, you fucking went through that. I just said, T.O. for the three. Mm -hmm. yeah. I end for the sub. Ready, boy? Come on, a week ago? A week ago or <laughs> five days ago? Oh, he's about to leave. But the knob on the side here Oh, my God, he's scared. I don't know if it's cold enough. Oh. I just bring my stuff, okay? What? Oh my god. My stuff, okay? okay. Oh my god, is he gonna run away? Oh, he thinks he's in like a murder mystery. Oh, he's like he's terrified. Away. He's, he's, he's about to drive away. We'll tell him not to. Right, right. One thing though. Um, this is a joke, dude. <laughs> That's my friend in the refrigerator. He's alive. <laughs> His makeup looks good, doesn't it? <laughs> we're, we're still gonna pay you for your Bro, bro, oh my God. He didn't even, that wasn't even like a long reaction. That was just him fucking, oh my God, that's a dead body. And then fucking ran away. Your visit and all that stuff, don't worry about it. <laughs> Thanks, man. I appreciate you, dude. Did it freak you out? <laughs> oh, Bye. I feel bad. Here, I, just, I, I don't Oh, they feel. get somebody else yeah, to do it? I got the bottom, there's a dent. Oh, Jesus. Hey. <laughs> But it's on the coldest setting here. I just, I, I don't think he could figure it out, the repair. Uh-huh. Man, I can't do this anymore. I can't take this seriously. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you don't know nothing about the freezer. Is there anyone here that can? So I understand we have a body in the freezer? If you want to take a look. Skeleton in there? No, Oh, that's cool. Cool. Oh, they that's don't even think it's a person. They just think it's like a mannequin. Awesome. Can you... Can we either Smigo made a video on you? Dude, you are like 10 hours behind on this shit. I know. I reacted to the video. Smigo DM'd me. We're chill. Hey, we're gonna fucking uh, hop on a call when he gets back from Romania sometime. I know. You're, you're, uh, bro, Smigo made a video on you. Yes, I know. Even, like we already we, we watched the video. I, I watched the entire video. Um... All right. So, so yeah, he, ten hours later, you think Sneeko told Andrew about you? No, I doubt it. I highly doubt it. Is he going to Romania to see Andrew? I think that's why. All right, last video we got. Dude, the queen just died. Oh no, fucking way. Chat, the queen just died. No, you're lying.
You're lying. No, I'm not going to be able to fucking act like I, like I don't know that. How long ago did the queen die? Was that like a week ago? I feel like it's been like two weeks. When did that happen? Was that last week? That wasn't last week. That was two weeks ago. There's no way, chat. Oh my god, the queen fucking died, dude. Last month? No, it wasn't last month. When did the queen die? I made the video of the day, September 8th. The queen died September 8th? That was a long time ago. Well, that wasn't a long time ago. That was like, I thought that was like last week. Or not this past week, the week before that. Dude, it's been a bit since she fucking died. Wow. It's been 20 days. Almost. Damn. Did not know that. All right, next video. How dementia villages work. Last video of the day. At first glance, the Hogeveik looks a lot like any other neighborhood in the Netherlands. It's got a restaurant, barbershop, theater. Andrew and Sneeko are plotting. Bro, I... Bro, uh, for what? I, I'm just gonna... Uh, for what? Against me? I doubt it. Like, I'm I literally... I'm not beefing with him. Me and him made a video... Like, me and him reacting to each other's shit and disagreeing with each other isn't necessarily beefing. Like, we're just literally gonna hop on a call one day, probably talk about it. All right. Grocery store and open green space. You can see people walking around, getting groceries and having coffee. The difference is that this neighborhood is a facility for people with severe dementia. And everyone else in it, from grocery store cashiers to barbers to waiters, are trained in dementia care. The I think having dementia or Alzheimer's is one of the scariest ways to go. Thoughts. Because you forget everything. Like, you forget everything. Like, you basically lose yourself. Like, if you have, like, in debt, like, like, you have, like, not, I'm not talking, like, oh, you died, but you, like, just started getting Alzheimer's. No, like, I'm talking, like, you die, like, in association with Alzheimer's. You will literally forget who you are. Like, genuinely, like, it's, you're just in a state of, like, constant panic, confusion, it's, it's terrifying. And so they made these... I know this isn't the only one. I'm pretty sure there's another one. I haven't watched this video, but I know dementia villages work. Or, like, it's, like, it's whole homes and towns where, pe like, everybody there is generally, like, has dementia or some sort of dementia. Uh, strike for the three bits. You're not going to believe this Betty White died. Like, <laughs> that was a while ago. Rickle for the three. I want to study philosophy because I find it interesting. That's the only reason. If, if you just find it interesting and that's the only reason and you have the money, yeah, sure. If you have the free time and you have the money to go back, yeah, why not? Uh, but if you, like, if you're, like, if you don't have the money to spend on that, you don't have the free time, you could just get, like, philosophy books. Uh, but if you want to take genuine classes and you have the free time and you have the money, then why not? This model of care has been dubbed a dementia village. As people continue to live longer around the world, the proportion of older people in the population will continue to rise, and that means a steep increase in the number of people with dementia. Caring for that population will require designing environments that help people feel safe and free, even as they lose the ability to recognize the world around them. And the architects behind dementia villages think they might have figured out the formula to do it. So, and this is the Hokovac. Social life is happening there, so you can see it now. That's Eloy Van. But, like, every person there has dementia. Couldn't that really go very poorly if every person is kind of in a panic? The president, George Washington, just died, bro. Oh, one of the Hogeveik's founders. Dementia, it's, of course, a brain disease. If you look at your life as a photo album, you forget... The, the, the last pictures, the last pictures, they fall out of the album, and so you remember the past better when you were younger. And that's a daily challenge for the individuals, uh, how to live with memory loss. In early stages, people with dementia can live at home, looked after by family, friends, or home care, but they eventually need full-time care. Often, that care comes from traditional nursing homes, but those settings can be sterile and clinical. You all dine together in a big dining area. You all have to listen. And it's scary to, it's not, it's not only scary to have it, it's scary to go through someone you know having it. Do you guys know anybody, like your grandparents with dementia or something like that? Like, it'll start with, uh, like, them forgetting, like, a conversation 
or like something just like old people do. Starts with somebody forgetting a conversation. They ask you the same question every day. Then they start forgetting where they are for brief moments. They need, they like, they're on a drive. They don't know where they are. Then it gets worse. They forget your name. Uh, then they forget their kids. They forget them. Like, like they start losing like stretches of time. Listen to the same music at the same time where you're forced as a and person it's sad. into a program of the institution. There's not that much attention towards who are you really? What is my life story? Who am I? What do I prefer to do during the whole day? In any setting, the goal of good dementia care should be to preserve quality of life as dementia progresses. In traditional settings like nursing homes, surface level changes are a good place to start. Since people with dementia might perceive dark tiles as holes, floors should be visually consistent without contrasting patterns. Brightly colored doors and handrails help residents navigate around, and wow. dishware has been shown to help people with Alzheimer's eat more food. Acoustic ceiling tiles, carpeted floors, and soft furniture can absorb noises that trigger disorientation. Glass-fronted cabinets help residents have a clear line of sight to what's stored inside, and lighting fixtures that mimic natural light strengthen residents' circadian rhythms, which helps mitigate sundowning, where people with dementia become confused in the evening and night. Some of the advice is about- Can you punch Bob? Can you punch Bob? Can you punch Bob? Can you please kick Bob? No! Now I'm not gonna fucking punch Bob for the next 10 days because you said that. No, I'll actually punch Bob. But shut the fuck up, please. Somebody redeem Flex really hard. Coley for the sub. Finding clear lines, surface patterns. That was so weak. It wasn't a full wide punch, bitch. I just fucking punched him. Are based on institutions. Instead of normalizing Reverend for the five, my grandma died of dementia last dementia last month. She was living in a nightmare for over two years. And Matt for the sub. It's sad. It is. It, 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 and I, I always wonder like how a sense of self is then when they kind of forget themselves. The environment. All those elements are essential, but sometimes they are the solution for an institution. But the Hokovic's design solution is different. Instead of changing surface level design to preserve quality of life for people with dementia, they took a structural approach and designed their facility to look as much like the outside world as possible. Our guiding principle here is normalcy. It's their vision, a normal life for people living with dementia. That's What happened to the Samir video? I played those other two videos, the Mark Rober and the other one, so we're going to watch those after. With or not after, but Friday. Traditional nursing homes keep all of their residents under one roof. But real households don't typically consist of dozens of people. So the Hokovake split its residents up into small groups of six or seven, recreating the scale of a single family home. Inside, each resident has a private room furnished with personal belongings. The units are split up into different neighborhoods to mimic Dutch cities that residents are used to. The public space, the, the gardens, the streets, the squares. That's nice. That they, they are their, equally their important there. if you want to build a community where people live. Opinions on the GTA 6 leak. Oh my god. Dude, the GTA 6 leak. The game's not coming out for three years anyway. It's not that It's not that big of a deal. You know what I mean? The GTA 6 leak, nah. Oh no, we get to see very base shit in the game. And it's probably all going to change anyway. You know what I mean? Like, people were hyping the shit out of that, like... I understand, oh, like, the bigger idea is, like, oh, that that hacker released the source code and all that other shit, because now it's going to delay, um, it's going to delay fucking how long it takes them to process and all this other shit. Or, actually, the, the source code might have not gotten leaked. Somebody said that was fake. I don't know if it was or not. Anyways, the bigger deal is the kid that was actually capable of doing that. The actual leak itself isn't really showing that much of the game. Right, it's showing an aspect of the game, but the game is so early in development still that it's not like we don't know what's going to be in the game yet. Each neighborhood's public space. He was got arrested. Yeah, I know. He probably won't. He probably won't serve that. He's he, he, wasn't he like seventeen or something? Unless they retry him when he turns eighteen, he's probably not going to serve much time. Mori for the sub. Given distinct landscapes and unique landmarks, so people could easily find their way around, and destinations like the theater, barber shop, and grocery store were put in separate buildings, encouraging intentional movement and intermingling in that public space. 
These different areas provide multiple scales of experience, and residents are given the autonomy to safely wander along that spectrum, from very private to very public space. That autonomy helps further preserve quality of life. People stay in their own bedroom. Many people socialize in the living room, but you can also decide to leave the house because the front door is open and to walk to your own private outdoor space, your wow. terrace or balcony or your own garden. Or It makes their life less shitty when they're going through that. You walk further into the neighbor where you can mingle. So it's about choice, 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 where you want to be during the whole day and with whom. Crucially, the Hogevik's design allows for a balance of safe design and controlled risk. Walkways, for example, don't have super high walls to guarantee that no one falls over. You see handrails everywhere in institutions. What the fuck are we watching? Uh, a video about dementia villages. Is actually, we actually don't really need to watch the rest of this. But yeah, no, I just wanted to watch that video. Somebody sent it a while ago. It was like a month. It was a while ago. Probably when it came out. Yeah, when it came out in like August. Um, all right. What... Or who do we raid, chat? Who do we raid? That was a W stream. W stream in the chat. W stream in the chat. Who do we raid? Lex Little's live. Should we raid Lex Little? He just showed up on my, um, on my recommended. I feel like we could watch him. Or we could raid him. Should we raid him? Oh, no, he looks like he's going through some stream errors. Should we raid him? Raid Slimesicle? Raid Amaranth? I'm not raiding Amaranth. I'm not raiding Amaranth, chat. Stop trying to convince me to raid fucking Amaranth. Happy, or Chef for the sub. The Lonely for the sub. Uh, Reverend for the three. The pandemic was super hard on dementia patients because it was such a big change and no socialization. Yeah, it probably made everything even scarier, which was worse. Happy for the three bits. I had a good relationship with my grandfather. He was diagnosed with dementia five years ago. And over the years, he slowly forgot how to drive and where he lived. Eventually, he forgot about me and the family. It was hard and a big mental process for me, knowing somebody you've known for your whole life just to forget about you. And he passed away in early 2020. I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, rip in the chat. Rip in the chat. Rip in the chat. That is, that is, that is very sad. That is very sad. Um, but some people do go through that. It, it, it is sad to see, but... It is something that people uh, have to deal with. All right. Should we raid Lex? We'll raid Lex. Why not? We'll raid Lex. All right. Chat. I will see you guys tomorrow. 4.30 p.m. EST. We are starting with our Why Superhero Suck Now rant. Uh, a Marvel rant Monday. Uh, then we're going into probably a Marvel tier list. Uh, on the movies, uh, Marvel movies, and then we're gonna end, uh, with probably some gaming. Uh, so that should be fun tomorrow, uh, 4.30 p.m. EST, be there, be square for the Marvel rant slash other shit. Uh, just general superhero rant, but it's mainly about Marvel. Uh, and then we're probably gonna get into some gaming, whatever you guys wanna do. Tuesday off, Wednesday, we're doing Spider-Man Remastered. Thursday, probably doing Val stream. Uh, I don't know if we're doing the big Val event tomorrow, but it will be a Val stream. Friday, reaction. Saturday, uh, I might not be live because I'm probably going on a date with my girlfriend for our one-year anniversary a little bit early because we can't hang out on our actual anniversary day. Uh, but I will update you guys then. Uh, we're going to be doing our ice cream tier list soon. Uh, maybe next weekend. I don't know for sure. Maybe next Sunday. Uh, but I will let you guys know. Uh, other than that, I uh, hope you guys had fun having, or I hope you guys had fun watching the stream. Thank you for everybody that came out into the stream. We had a great view count, and I will see you guys later. We are going to raid in five. Four, three, two, one.